of this There ain't no making sense of that And I'm hoping, it's just hoping When we don't know where we're at Want you to run so far, yeah And fly so free I've never felt so stuck in between At the end of the day She wants you to say that you stay is this so things just not a middle? Cause if I love you, let it go. Cause if I love you, let it go. Let you go. Welcome back. Welcome back, Bex Eaters, to Live on Patrol. We have a uh, new Live on Patrol co-pilot. Not uh, not a new officer, but a new Live on Patrol co-pilot. And, uh, you know, when you get on an airplane, when you get on an airplane, you watch those cap the captain and the co-pilot up there go through a checklist before they fly the plane. Right? Correct. Yeah, and there's a long checklist, and sometimes they got to check the baggage and the weight, etc. So we 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 are a little late because we had the same checklist, you know, for a first-time co-pilot. And by the way, Pat, as you know, is under the weather, and I'm, I just talked to him before we went live. He's doing better. I'm not going to tell you what he has, but what he has was semi-serious, and he would is on antibiotics for it. So, um, he's recovering. And uh, we expect him back. He says he'll be back to work on Monday. Copy, I'm showing that clear. And by the way, we'll probably, Pat and I will probably go live on Monday because Mike is going to be uh, at a family activity. So we're always going to... I'm just pulling a fresh stolen. And I'm not campaign the message. Case number is going to be one Copy, I'll keep looking on my end. I'm showing it clear in NCIC. I'll check the same call records. So, um, just listen to Sergeant Sticks. Sergeant Sticks on the main channel. We got a lot of radios going. I think it's short as an AOA, but I can't find that AOA anymore. Cat team is out and about, of course. I'm trying to find it. Anybody else just get a message saying that Caliper. I didn't get anything. Perfect. So it is I got a message about a Hyundai. There was an AOA uh, to check an address for a fresh unreported stolen, but that has since disappeared. Okay. Technology at its best. <laughs> we start calling for it. Just going to make a quick run through uh, tin cups here. But Pat's going to be fine, just so you know. I mean, yes, he's had, you know, they say things come in threes. You know, he cut the tip of his finger off, which I was gone when they told you that he did that. But that's because of his cooking. I always warn him, you know. There's hazards to cooking. Completely is. So Darren, uh, we put a little bat bio about Darren McDonald here. He, I recruited him heavily from the St. Paul Police Department. I run into him so many times, and I've always been impressed with him. So... Uh, Darren, introduce yourself to the Vaccineers. Good evening, Darren here. I did 16 years at City of St. Paul, where I was a patrol officer. I mainly worked midnights, 10 at night till late in the morning. I worked all three districts, so I know the city very, very well. Uh, 
like the sheriff said, I was pretty active on Midnight's and the sheriff recruited me and I found it an uh, offer too good to be true and very happy I made the switch and like you, you drink Mountain Dew too. He brought a Mountain Dew to the car. I do. Yes, yeah, so I even fill the fridge at <laughs> uh, the six right pack. Yes. Wow, I didn't even know that when we were recruiting you. You're a Mountain Dew drinker too. Yes, I bonus. live a Mountain Dew. Bonus, bonus, yes. bonus. Well, my wife is very happy that Darren was filling in. She, after what happened over there in Minneapolis with that ambush shooting, she appreciates. Hey, how's it going? How are you guys? Oh, good, good, good. You're looking. Huh? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, well, you, you what, were you five then, or what? How old were you, five? <laughs> Thanks a Take lot, care. you guys. See you guys there. Tin cup, pretty busy. We don't have many problems here, really, which is kind of a tribute to the place. I mean, it, uh, I gotta give them credit. I mean, there's, I'm not saying there isn't. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm not saying there isn't some pot smoking going on occasionally. <laughs> How are you? What's up? Oh, put a smile on that face. Turn that frown upside down, huh? How's it going? Everything good? All right. Have a good one. What we got going here? Just yes. like some grilling. How's it going? You got a party, huh? Hello. My name's Bob. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? I don't think we met before. No, no. I'm Bob. This is Darren. Oh, hi. We're, you we're with the sheriff's office, so. Good meet you. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. Yeah. Yeah, how often have you been here? I mean, I, usually we got a group down by Bourne's, but. I've only seen a cooker here once before, but just, yeah, it's yeah. our second time. It's a good location. Well, we're trying to be kind of, you know, a little bit low key, not so much down there. That's a little bit over the top, though. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah, we like this quietness a little better. Yeah. Well, in and out. well, Nicole, it smells amazing. Well, thank you. Stop back by here. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. What, what are we cooking? And burgers, brats, yeah. and chicken. All right, thank you. Fantastic. Burgers, brats, and chicken. So Nicole, a new little vendor here. This has kind of been a, a, a trend lately of little pop-up grills. Yep. But I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Yeah, so 10 cups right at Rice of Maryland. By the way, I did do it. I did go down and take a look at security at the Iowa State Fair. Uh, I have a couple reports on that I want to bring back. I have a couple reports. Number one, well, number one, the obvious one, the official thing is they have they have less misbehaved people than we do. So Iowa, congratulations. Less misbehaved people. Not as many people either though, all right? Definitely Minnesota had higher numbers than the Iowa State Fair. But to their credit, less misbehaved people. Now, regarding the important matters of food choices, you know how we have that big roasted corn stand? Love it. By the... By the slide? Yeah, right by the slide and the Grand Center. Yep. Well, that's my favorite food, okay? And they've got it marketed at the, at the Minnesota State Fair. The lines are just non-stop, right? They are. The only corn... I can only find one small corn stand. And it had it didn't have a great visibility. You know, the thing about it is once you create that atmosphere of lines and people in their minds saying this is a got gotta have, yep. they didn't have that. Interesting. And so I'm tempted to go down there next year and open up a corn stand. I know they'll probably never let me in. <laughs> but uh, but they here's the one difference they did have. Besides the regular buttered corn, they give you an option of chipotle butter. Oh, that'd be good. It would, but I, I, I tried them both, but I like the regular, just regular buttered corn more than the chipotle. Although, gave a little, gave a little kick to it. it wasn't terrible either. Yeah. 
So I did not find many foot long corn dog stands though. That's interesting as well. No, I didn't I didn't try. There's a lot of barbecue place, a lot of barbecue, a lot of What was your best food? Well it was again it was the corn, but uh I went I got Chucky's uh Chucky's uh, breaded tenderloin. I got. I posted a picture of Chucky down there. Nice. He doesn't. They don't let him into the Minnesota Fair. I don't know why. He'd love to be there. But a breaded uh, pork tenderloin was was quality food. You know. Yes. Rather than just greasy food. Yep. So, which was different for me to eat quality food at a fair. <laughs> no, totally health conscious. <laughs> Throw but, that out. Um, we got We have to start moving in that direction. At least me at my age, sort of health conscious. Twenty nine. But it's the fair. It's only twelve days. You just eat what you can. Glutton. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. How's that? Does that picture look pretty good? Yes. It's a little lower than normal, but the the quality looks good. So anyhow, they have metal detectors, security, just like we do up here at the fair. They both started about the same time after COVID. Um, I, w I did not see any presidential candidates. I was there on the day after all the presidential candidates were there. However, having said that, I just want to say my initial reaction, who's the candidate that did the Eminem rap song? I have no idea. Yeah. I could look Whatever it up. Whatever they're going to put on the comments here. Just check yep. your comments. Uh, when I was down, the night I was down there in Iowa, I wasn't at the fair. There was one of the candidates appeared and he, and he did that uh, Lose Yourself song, rap song, in front of the oh. Iowa crowd. It's, it's Ramsey. It's yeah, it's uh, Vidic. Vi, Vi, yes, I, I know wish, who you're talking about. I wish I knew his name. Younger guy. Tried to distinguish himself, and um, I gotta say, I, I watching the videos. I'm not sure it sold with the people that were watching because they're older Iowans. Yep, Republican older Iowans. But the video went kind of viral around the country. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like. Uh, I actually think I did see that on. Well, it was on all the newscasts, yeah. but I watched the longer version down there, and. Uh, yeah, his first name is Vivek. Vivek, yep. Ramaswamy? Something like that. But he did the whole song, Lose Yourself. One chance, one opportunity. And uh, it's Eminem, basically. Yep. And, <laughs> but we know what's funny about that. When I won the election five years ago. Yes. Our son Bobby... You know, had, you know, kids with their speakers and their music. Yeah, yep. We let him pick what song you wanted to play after the election was determined when we kind of walked into the room. Fantastic, yeah. That's the song he picked. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so that was, for me, it was like a memory back. Yeah, to, for sure. For, you know, our son Bobby picking the, picking the music. It's kind of fun. So... We're on Payne Avenue and uh, Northdale Rec Center alarm is going off. Got a call. Oh, I got I got to give you an update. You know, I, I came back Monday night, and this week a number of stolens that have rolled around in the western suburbs. I got to tell you, folks. We're going to work on a plan to get the backseaters to help us find stolens. I know we've talked about it before, but we are we are just primed to try to get your help. Because there, we, we got to get, we might go 24-hour live from the office. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. 24-hour live, just tell you what's out there, yep. where it is, take a look. Uh, we do not need you to make any pit maneuvers. Correct. Leave that to me. Yeah, leave that to Darren. Yes. That's right. When that, I'm kind of thinking maybe a 24-hour stream from the CAT unit, Intel, keeping people posted on what, what's the... Because part of our problem is we don't like to post specific 
plates because if they're recovered and you don't get the recovery information. No, correct. But if we're if everything's on live, we might be able to do that. All right, let me just see here what I got here. So I gotta send I gotta send Darren's number to an operative here. Yeah, because certainly as uh, law enforcement, we only have so many eyes out there. It definitely helps having a proactive community out there that can give us information. Uh, double and triple and quadruple our eyes out on the street. Very helpful. Yeah, big help. I mean, and you know, listen, here's the thing. You're, we're begging citizens to call in when they see suspicious cars or driving. We might as well tell them what kind of cars we're looking for. Correct. Right? Yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, and definitely if you have, like, ring cameras, anything of that nature, if you catch anything suspicious, make sure you let you save that. Thank you for mentioning that. And that can lead to help successful prosecution down the road, help us with intelligence. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. What's Good. happening? Good. Anything? Yeah, just enjoying the show tonight. Uh, what's going on in there? What kind? Ca- what kind of show? Oh, it's EDM. A- yeah. What is it? EDM. EDM. Oh. Yeah. Loud music. Loud music. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, where's all your women? It's really cheap. It's really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Thanks. Really cheap. They're paying for us to get in. Hey, guys. Have a good night. That thing's fancy right there. That is Far East. The club on Arcade and Sims. So about, I was about to say the western suburbs, St. Louis Park, Golden Valley, Minnetonka, Eden Prairie, especially the car dealerships out there. There's been... Oh, I was there, leaving. It must be all safe there. It, it's... Uh, the car dealerships, the higher-end cars are becoming a target of some of our groups. Yeah, multiple. Of the group so, Audis, Porsches, BMWs, Mercedes. Lately, Mercedes, Porsches, and uh, Audis. Really popular to steal. But I, I have to say, by and large, these kids are avoiding coming back to our county. You've noticed that, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's kind of strange. Well, that's, it's, it's, it's not really strange, but you said you ran into a group of them downtown tonight, huh, that were riding the bus? Correct. Like when we see them riding the bus. Yes. So, uh, Instead of a stolen car. Monitoring Channel 1, a burglary in progress. The Minnesota Safety Council, 474 Concordia. Callers monitoring via camera and watching an active break in at least one male inside. Well, we could maybe try to slide over there. We're not that close, but we got a bur- burglary in progress over there. 162, copy. Yep, it says one, one male inside, and they're watching it on live video. I can go there because usually by the time the cars get there with the delay in transmission, usually yeah. there is a, a flea. So we will slide over there. 162 description is going to be a white male, late 20s, approximately 5 foot 10, wearing a gray hoodie, jeans, and a light cap. Light, light cap. cap. 
Darren hasn't been a passenger for a while, so you know he's probably going to be terrified <laughs> by my driving. It's been a very long time since I've <laughs> been a passenger. We'll enforce this on. <laughs> well, you saw him a couple weeks ago. You saw him pit that guy. Well, you didn't see the actual pit, but you saw it pretty close to the. Yeah. You saw the results of your pit shortly afterwards. Yeah. Can't really sec- go in and check for them and still keep yeah, the perimeter secure. There's four sides to the building. Right up, yeah, Usually, you can two cars yeah, can secure it four corners. Not always, but that's our hope until you get extra squads there. There is always a possibility that the guys already fled and we're suffering from a two-minute delay in terms of the comp call. But we will find out shortly. For the caller, they believe this is the male who lives in the camper at Concordia and Arundel. Said it also looked like he was wearing a backpack underneath his hoodie. Uh, well, okay, and that car I called out for is actually in the back just for squads and so. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, that person was sleeping in the back of that car. It's a silver report. I can just clear it. I'm gonna try to get off on Mary and. Yeah, it might be faster, even though it's definitely yeah, the longer. Yeah, suspect entered off of Concordia, the main Clear over here. Yeah, we're going to get your own problem. Take a full perimeter on this building. So, see, this is part of the problem. Yeah, we spent the perimeter on the building. The caller entered the main door on the lower level, which stopped him for you. They said there are guys. These guys break into buildings pretty regular. And, you know, even like that breakfast. 187, I'm at the. So, I mean, it's. uh, 3 4 corner. The problem is the courts don't know what to do with West homeless right people, there. you know? Correct. And uh, they, they, just, they don't really know what to do with them, so I understand that. But you can't let people out just to burglarize another place, right? Please search in the area. Yeah. I got something in the air 36. Or yeah, set it off as an automated message, severe crash, running within five meters. Looks like we did talk to one party who is... First question for the caller, they said that the main door might have not been closed properly. Might be Allegheny entry. The main door may not have been closed properly. It's kind of a strange observation, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> 47, I don't know if it's related, but I just saw a guy running southbound. There we go. That's going to be our target. Yep. Yeah, we just saw someone running southbound. I don't know if it's related. Running southbound from a rondo. It's about a block away from me. Does security still see him in the building? They don't have cameras in the building. Clear on right. 
Okay. Most likely the guy that was on a scooter that came off of Concordia. They do not have cameras on the building. Yeah, that was probably it. Okay, so the corner of my eye. Yeah, just exterior cameras? Yeah, it's a kind of scooter. Not related. Not related. Copy. So do we have someone covering that east side then? Well, I don't see how you. I'm waiting for the door that the suspect came in to is locked. Call out of a white person to get in. Can we all check? Four, five hundred will be McCubbin. So we're gonna run down to McCubbin, slide over to Concordia backseaters, and help with the perimeter. Yeah. Wait, please. Front door is open. 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 Actually, I'm done. Section 136. Copy, I'm left under 36. Now, if we were the first ones there, the we would have drove down Concordia the wrong way. They had no problem doing that, responding to a call. Brooklyn Center squad to be out. Brooklyn Center? Yeah, this is. This is the old vehicle plane. We're going to the squad down. Vehicle still traveling at a high rate of speed towards 35W, I believe. Coming up right here. Eastbound 94 coming up to the tunnel. Oh, no ways in pursuit. A couple officers Copy. over here. Yep, on the right side of the building. It's a big old building here. <laughs> We're going to clear the building. Yeah, here. So they are going to attempt to clear the building. Yeah. Yeah, they're clearing the building. We're going to go on the back side up here. Coming up here. On you four and Lowry, the pursuit coming eastbound. Well, good news is we got a few cars here, huh? Yes. Fifty one eighty five. Fifty one eighty five. You had Mike Charlie King, seven five two to the phone. All right, we're going through the tunnel. Stuck behind traffic. Copy. So we're here at uh, four eighty four, four ninety four. Concordia on a bird recall. We do have a good fleet at this point. Meanwhile, we're listening to. Uh, Pursuit. Copy, we're checking. Is that the tunnel right now? I copied that. What is it for? Fresh stolen. 322 Mark. Copy. Copy, 2214. You good with us here, Avery? Oh, yeah, Avery. What up, Avery? <laughs> Yeah, we are too. If it, if it, but it's got to choose whether it's coming east, east on 94, north on 35, south on 30. We got a one third chance of picking it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's coming here. Is it? Yeah. Just well, pass. Are you on this call? Yeah, we are going routine speed. Well, we're not on it. <laughs> yes. Information to Johnny West and Central on a pursuit. Yeah, Street, huh? see if we can. Might get off on earlier than that. Yes. So we are going to leave. We're going to leave this. There's, as Avery said, there are plenty of. Uh, yeah, 
put a few St. Paul cops at the scene. Uh, and our department can be more helpful on the pursuit because of our practices, training, experience. Happy. Avery was a young uh, hockey player playing hockey at Johnson yeah, High School when I was here. coaching over there. Great kid. Yeah, very nice guy. 88, 44. See, Southbound Hiawatha. Yeah. Southbound Hiawatha over Cedar, 2260. Well, one thing, you might get off on Lake Street. Come east. Silver and 7th Street, at 2260. Or the Ford Bridge. Yeah. 5183. Oh, good. You might get back on it. Yep. Might get back on there, my Franklin. I'm changing Gotham Highway B Boy 2 for a panic alarm. Manually entered as a traffic alarm. What do you say there? Routine speeds, the vehicle is. You have the port of 40 and go right behind you. That's passenger now. Let's get ourselves down to the Lake Street Bridge. Yep. See, isn't it, isn't it a little nice just to have, not have to worry about the car and just the radio? Isn't there a little bit more relaxing, or is that a big fat no? No, I mean, it's definitely a different feel. I'm going to let this, I don't know if it's one of our squads or who it is, but I'm going to let this car go by. Might be Avery. I don't think so. Eighty three, go ahead. Twelve forty eight. We're still eastbound twenty six coming up to Chicago. Eastbound twenty six coming up to Chicago, still eastbound. You might get back. Eighty five, I copy your plate. Work his way up to Cedar. Yep. I lost sight of it here. We can clear the patch. Lost somewhere on twenty six between Chicago and eleven. Well, yeah, I'll take the train travel 11. Yeah, I'm going to head over to Lake Street Bridge. See if I can look at it. Say it's ED, ED, Henry, Union, Ida. Yeah, I'll pause it, but I don't think that's too far. It's from where we're going to go. Vehicle passing in the uh, Ramsey GPS uh, for Star Tags is authorized. Nice. Ramsey County got struck. Who was that? I assume that was uh, Henderson County deputy that aired that, maybe? Sounded like it. I thought I heard Marcy. This is a fresh tool on that Henderson. Hey, so just one. There's one in the back, is there? Staircase back there? The elevator up front's not coming down. Well, 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 well. Looks like there's stairs on the south side. Do you mean the north side? 888, back seaters. Negative, south side. If you're, uh... Copy, indoor is correct. You're wondering what we're looking for, 888. What was the last part? There's a railing that looks like it leads downstairs on the south side entrance of the building. I don't know how you get to it from the south. It says Hotel Uniform India Sierra, but I don't think that's right. Is there a three lines? Are you on the phone with the caller still? Hey Mark, is the plate in the thread right or is there a different, negative. different letters? Negative. They can communicate through the two-way on the camera if needed. That's not answering. Maybe I can turn a call if needed to. That was the plate that they provided, yes. So black Nissan Pathfinder. 888. 
Henry Union Ida Sam. Yep. Twenty sixteen black. Nissan Pathfinder. Last scene. Eastbound twenty six. Two one eight three. Can you put the drone up and see if you can see the second floor? We think he might be holding the elevator because we can't call the elevator now. So they're still uh, still looking for the burglar. They think he's upstairs on the second floor, blocking the elevator. So, which is probably what he's doing. So they can't get up. They can't get up to the building because he's got the elevator. That's creative. I guess the elevator is broken. Oh, the elevator is broken. Uh, those are the calculations you have to make. Kind of hard to hear through the camera. It might just be the bottom floor. So, some more info. There's a call in pending at 6th and Cedar, downtown St. Paul. There's a vehicle full of males and females driving in the wrong direction. And traffic swerving at traffic. Mm-hmm. Is it impending? Yes, trying to find it. Which is a, a symptom, a trait of a lot of our stolen cars. They like to go down by the uh, bus stop there and show off for their friends. Yep, they're saying it's a black, smaller sedan at Six and Cedar. Driving wrong direction in traffic on one way. 213, check your seven. 213. But it's full of kids. Like yeah, the full the males and females. Just the only give an age range. Forty-four thirty on the mount. Well, what time is it here? Is the ten o'clock news over yet? Forty-four thirty on the mount. Pretty close. Ten twenty-four. Ten twenty-four. Yeah. Well, what time is it here? Well, that's uh. Is the ten o'clock news over yet? Forty-four thirty. Oh yeah. That tells you the delay we got. We only got yes. like a five-second delay. Which we're toying around with the idea of lengthening the delay for our own safety. But, uh, since I got Superman with me. You kind of look like that Christopher Reeve Superman. You got that Christopher Reeve look to you, Darren. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. But we, at the back seat, just want a nickname for you. Yeah, I will totally leave it up to them come up with a nickname. got to help me out there, backseaters. Help me out. I rode with Pat maybe six weeks ago. I think the name that came up from that night was Dasher Darren. Dasher? Yep. Is that a reindeer? I believe so. (laughs) It's a reindeer. I don't know. (laughs) Zach, we're good now. It's running off. 44920. Copy. Dasher. Donder and Blitzen, Comet and Cupid, and I used to know all the eight reindeer. Do you know the greatest of them all? Um, Cupid, Dasher, Rudolph. Vixen. Rudolph? Yeah, yep. but I mean the greatest is oh, Rudolph. Totally is. Cupid, Dasher, so, so help us out. Send us some. Put some comments on there. Pat's at home. Uh, he said he might not be able to stay awake. He's 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 got to get some rest. But we got other backseaters that are watching. Speaking of that, I, I wanted to do a poll. Now, this is a little bit strange. Forty-six twenty-six Fire Avenue North. I took uh, my wife, well, I shouldn't say I took my wife, and that's a little demeaning, but uh, my wife and I went to see the Barbie movie. And? Um, I gotta be honest, I didn't really like it. Yeah, okay. I've heard really mixed 
you either like that stuff or you don't like the stuff. Yeah. But I was waiting for it. I mean, it, there were there were moments, and what's that guy's name? Jake? What's the guy? What's Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling. Yep. He did an excellent job. But it was just too over the top. Yeah. Too over the top. Yeah, I heard it, you either love it or you do not like it at all. But here, let's just face it, when you're waiting for a movie to get better and you're at a movie and you're waiting for it to get better, Bravo, what's the most guilty. important thing? Yeah, have a good night. Okay, picture yourself in the back seat. I always sit in the back row for security purposes, etc., etc. What's the most important thing when you're watching a two-hour-plus movie and you're waiting for it to get better? For me, it's popcorn. Yes, exactly. Okay? Yes. All right. Totally. Is. It's the food, right? Yes. So here's my question. What's your favorite movie food, backseaters? Favorite movie food. And I mean, because before the movie, we went to Walgreens. You know, you go to Walgreens, you get those uh, three for five dollars candies. Oh, yeah. You know, you stuff them in your purse or in your pockets. I mean, three for five dollars, you get in boxes of candy versus five dollars for one box, right? Yeah, five dollars for half a candy bar. Well, it's they're probably bigger. Than, I don't know exactly, but the question is, what's your favorite movie food besides popcorn? And we're not going to have the debate of butter or no butter on popcorn. We could have that debate, but we're not going to have that debate. So, uh, because my historical favorite movie was, was Dots. Dots. Oh, yeah. That's a, but I've, I've evolved off that. I've evolved away to healthier food. Chocolate. Okay. Chocolate. Like straight chocolate or? Well, that's the problem. You know, what's your favorite? Milk duds are pretty good, right? Yeah. They have to be fresh. Like older milk duds that are. We're still we're back here on Concordia. They're still searching. They believe the party is inside somewhere, right? Correct. One seven eight copy the noise complaint. But there's guys from ninety eight Creek now. Now, so there's a loud house party. Creighton Avenue South Loud House Party. Yep. That's a symptom of college starting again, right? Correct, it definitely is. Football team's back on campus. College is about to start. Yep. So, so, so people are bringing up Red Hots. Oh yeah, I like those. I bought I bought a box of those at Walgreens. I bought I bought nine different boxes. Oh, okay. fantastic! It's, you know, three sets of three yep. or five. Sour Patch Kids. Love them. Love them. Love them. And Ellen, I agree with you. I love Riverview Theater, and their popcorn is the best. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Reese's Pieces. It's one of my wife's favorite. No doubt about that. Reese's Pieces. I did get her some of those. So, I'm going to tell you my new favorite in a minute, though, but I'm waiting for someone to guess it. How about Juju Bees? You know, I'll tell you what, I haven't had Juju Bees for a long time when they were really hard. Oh, totally. But, but those yes. are the best, right up until the part when I lost the rear part of my, <laughs> of my wisdom, too. <laughs> right? Yes. What else you got there? Favorite movie food, folks. Favorite movie food. A lot of popcorn. Yeah, no, I'm talking about candy. Oh. No, no doubt popcorn is number one. Here's a good one, Junior Mints. Junior Mints. My wife loves Junior Mints, too. That's another. I did buy her a box of Junior Mints and a box of Reese's Pieces. That's, you know, we didn't really eat them all, of course, because we're health conscious. But when you're in a movie that isn't your favorite. How about Puppy Chow? Never had it. I think it's kind of a Chex Mix. Well, that's like real food. Yep. <laughs> that's for... That is airplane food, Chex Mix, and, oh. Gar and Gardettos. Oh, oh yeah. Gardettos. How airplane. about Goobers? Yeah, I, I haven't had a Goober for a long time. But So, what else we got there? My Dots, Raisinets. There you go. See, really? That's a quality food. Raisinets is a quality food. Why? Because it's part fruit, 
and part chocolate. I had trust issues when people would hand me a raisin oatmeal cookie thinking it was a chocolate chip. Well, I, I like raisin oatmeal cookies better than chocolate chip. Oh. So, so that's where your trust issues developed. Huh? <laughs> yes, totally. But I, I, my raisinettes are now my favorite. But you know what I found out? already in Silver Lake at 22.30. When I was shot, I told you there were three for five, right? Yep. At the Walgreens. Well, there was a... What did we get there? Carpenter, unit five. Oh, I used to go tell that guy he got his lights off. off. Yep. The tint here on these no, cars is... Uh, uh, the tint on these windows is... So, um, back on the Raisinets before we pull this car over. We're just going to do a little advisory. Darren probably wasn't trained in this advisory tank. No, oh, lights off. are on. Yeah. Um, yeah, lights on. So, at the Walgreens, they had a stack of the regular milk chocolate raisinettes. Yep. stack of dark chocolate raisinets. Apparently nobody wanted the dark chocolate raisinets. So So there were a buck a box. Wow. So for the dark I didn't buy those by the way. I went with the milk chocolate. If you're gonna go to a movie theater you wanna have candy that you like, right? Yep. Have you seen Oppenheimer yet? I have seen Oppenheimer. And? And you know that I'm a big history buff. Yep. And I love the history aspect of Oppenheimer. I did not like the part where they jumped back and forth in time. Oh. Where they tried to tell a story about what happened earlier, and then they came back to the current, and then they went back. And not that a lot of people wouldn't enjoy that. I just don't like too much time jumping around. Yeah. And, uh, but the story itself, the information in there is really interesting and causes you to think. But all I can say is for every negative about the atomic bomb, thank God Germany didn't develop before we did. Correct. Right? Yes. And thank God we weren't really at war with the Soviets when they developed theirs, because they did actually did the first nuclear test. So, but it does cause you to think about the world and the potential for disaster. The information was great, the acting was really good, I thought, but the the jumping back and forth. Was there a game tonight? Did you guys go to the Twins game? Yeah, you went oh. there? How, how did we do? We won. We won? Nice. Five to one. Five to one. All right. Well, thanks for, thanks for stopping and visiting with us. Thank you. Twins won. Five to one. Five to one. Our light rail here that's along the University. Program. University Avenue takes you right to the okay, stadium. The Actually, dead ends right at the stadium. Yep. That family just got back. Partly, I always like to let them know there's law enforcement when you get off the train. Yes. Get that McDonald's. I will give some shout outs. There we go. Thank you. I would like to. 2371 and 1298. Ashland. From the backseaters to Undersheriff Mike Martin. 
You've been nominated to win the loudest blinker. Who? Mike Martin. Mike Martin, okay. He does get a loud blinker. Yep. Sometimes it's the, the sound is copyrighted. Uh, message from the backseaters to Pat Scott. We miss you and hope you're feeling well and you're back to work soon. Happy birthday, 51st, to Chris Nelson. Is that the old Chris Nelson that used to work for the PD or not? I don't know, turn 51. How's it going, partner? Well, he must crack. That Chris Nelson's older. Yeah. Happy birthday to, I believe it's Iska from Chicago on August 5th. From your friend Ismail. Very notable birthday this week to Marjorie Johnson, the famous State Fair Blue Ribbon winner. Oh, yeah. She turned 104 this week. The baker, the baker, right? Yeah, I believe she turned 104 on Wednesday. Saw her on TV. Congratulations. That was fun. Yeah, fantastic. Channel 11 did a really nice story on it. Happy birthday to Logan. Turned 18, coming up on August 25th. Love for Mom Ashley Smith. Happy birthday, coming up to Jesse Kolb, August 31st. Riding with us since day one. Love from Justice Chapman. Happy birthday to Joanne Morgan. 68 and daughter Jen 36 both on August 9th 23, Joanne says Jen was the best birthday present ever happy birthday to Jerry Lynn Culbertson August 11th And happy birthday to Jeremiah Bam from Rushford, New York. Turned 43 on August 6th. Love from your brother, Alfred Bam III. Who reports Jeremiah watches every episode and greatly admires Pat's sixth throwing ability. Thank you for watching us. Happy birthday to Kathy Rominski, August 11th. Also reduces the lights and sirens. Continuing south on 61, crossing the. Happy birthday to Karen Engstrom. To turn 65, August 11th. What is the vehicle on for? Do you want to go back here? Happy. We have a vehicle that's not stopping Happy. southbound 61 at Beam right now in Maplewood. We got a few county cars heading that way to give my hand. 44 71. Where are you at right now? White Bear is following it but doesn't have permission to pursue it. So Maplewood and County are trying to. Uh, Get up in the area. Get up in the area. We're going to head up there, but you're doing a great job on those shout outs. Sounds good. We might have to bring you with on our regular Southbound 61 crossing I'm trying to stop it. He's still rolling. He's probably intoxicated. That's the thing. Happy trying to stop still Not really. Not really. Where are you? Taking top on his tail. What's across street? What's across street? Four four seven one. Can I get a proof for a hit for my boss? Or one thirty six. That's probably not gonna happen. Nope. 
least not to it. Which way is it? 4339, this is copy. We're very confused now. Yes. 4339, I copy. Still what? Did I? Southbound on what? Oh, sorry. Nikki, find out where they're at, please. 36 in English. So that car wouldn't stop for White Bear. Eventually, they got enough cars around it there. Went eastbound on 36, and it did stop. I've heard every kind of excuse in the books. My radio was too loud. Uh, we have one to There's a million different excuses, though. I didn't look out the rear to see the alert lights. We've got two to detain. We've got a car for a stall in North Valley. We've got two to detain. I just went to the SUV with a male and a child standing outside of it. Okay, a few more shout outs we'll get to. Happy birthday to Don Amon. Hopefully, I'm not butchering your name. Turn 61 on August 7th. Love from your husband, Brian. That's nice. Happy birthday to Brianna, who had a birthday August 2nd. Love, Mom, Melanie. Happy birthday to Karen Engstrom. Turned 65, August 11th. So you probably... Any chance we have a Spanish-speaking officer in the area? So there's a Spanish Spanish driver. Hey, you have to sing happy birthday, birthday every I 10 of those. <laughs> I, I think if I started singing, backseaters would turn, the, turn off. How are you doing tonight? Nope, yep, no so problem at all. We're just checking to make sure you're good. All right. Okay. Where, where do you live? How far are you coming from? Uh, hop in the back seat there real quick. We'll give you a ride. Yep. You're going to see a few Mountain Dew bottles on the floor there. Go. Move you up to just a hair. Can you get in there okay? Good, 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 good. good. Oh, now we, now we got a vehicle. Uh, oh, we got a vehicle to one. You're going to the west bound. No. Uh, uh, where, where are we going, partner? Uh, so we did a corner. 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 Right here? Yes, sir. Oh, you're almost home. Right. Jesus. I know, right? Everything has been moving. Silver, Toyota RAV4. How far? 40 miles an hour. Uh, going to be Come up to the door. Where were what? The van? The tan van. Right about here. Stop right now. Yeah, they got snow snowy approaching Inglewood. Right here. Perfect. Right here? Right here. Right here. Well, you did all right. the heavy work yourself. Coming up to Union House. You should be able to get out, I think. I think so. Black shirt. Nope, I didn't know what to get out. That's it. I tell you what, roll your window down and grab the thing there. There you go. Grab the Grab the handle. How's that? There. Right, my brother, it looks like I County should be a snowing in Union. And I hope y'all get what y'all got. Take care. Thank you, my brother. Yep. Right now for County. Well, I know my community. Hey, here's a holiday kind of card for you. Caught up in traffic. Serving it out. Thank you, my guy. He is now yeah. westbound Union. All right. See you later. Take care. Yep. Right. Uh, God bless y'all. Westbound Union from snowing. Westbound Union from snowing? Yeah, he's up to hit an alleyway. I can't see him anymore. Got the plate there, big guy? Uh-huh. Sue. Yeah, I got him here again at Snelling. Snowing. He's going to be going northbound. Snowing is Union. Got to be back northbound Snowing. South and North Alley. It's a silver He's Toyota RAV4. Sherbert. Kilo O Sierra Foxtrot 170.
eastbound Sherburn. Smelling. I'm waiting to get back there. have eyes on them here anymore. Well, there's a million cars out there tonight, so we ought to be able to box them in somewhere. I'm not trying to get to take that shield and snowing. He's not sure about the last. I don't know where he is now. Okay. Got a long pass go through the lights and go on towards 94. Can't get on. Is this why you're counting the area? He can't get on there. We're in the area of which band 94. Get on 94 there. Can't see anymore. He went towards 94 and I was there for lost there. He gets on 94 and going the other way, but I'm not betting on getting on 94. What do you think? Right, pursuit. Let's go to Dale Street. It's yep. A little clearer to get down there. The only game that I have eyes on right now, but the silver Toyota RAV4 to St. Paul's Stolen. St. Paul's Stolen RAV4. He had to have crossed over 94, so either east or west on Marshall. Well, I agree. He left 878 Pascal. He yeah. didn't hang out with people that are talking, so I'm going to swing back there. He tries to go back. I don't mind getting on the freeway. The problem with the freeway is you lose your flexibility. What was the vehicle? In case he goes. Silver no, RAV4, Kilo Sierra Fox Trap 170. There's so many other cars down there. There's no plates on it. The plates in the back window. Oh, Jesus. No plates on it. Plates yeah. in the back window. Six seven. All right, he had to have gone east on Marshall then from Pasco because I'm at Snowy Marshall. I haven't seen it. To your right. Forty-four ninety-two. Service. Can you speed check the cameras at Snowy in the ninety-four CP gun on? That's a good. That's kind of a key thing. But it was on. I was there when you guys called it out. I saw him cross over ninety-four. Yeah, he's on Pasco and he. They said right in east on Marshall. So. Yep. He couldn't. He can't get on there unless he goes down to Washington, Lexington. That someone would see him at Lexington. I would hope so. Good morning, see if there's someone wants to come with me to Bay Twenty Eight Hospital. There's a large group out there, a lot of machine cars. Well, of course, that's that. That house on Pasco up there. Eight hundred block of Pasco. Very, very familiar with that address. Yeah, Darren brings a ton of St. Paul experience. And, you know, St. Paul guys like him. Yeah. Which is a benefit. We got we got people from different departments. You know, Joe Kill came from White Bear. Nicole came from Maplewood. Now, I probably went heavy on Maplewood. I got... Uh, Micheletti from Maplewood too, and Odegaard from North St. Paul. Probably need a Mounds View or a New Brighton guy. Next. <laughs> so, yeah. round out the team. Yeah. Mike Martin, of course, spent years in Minneapolis before he went to the University of Minnesota as the emergency manager. So right now, as of right now, no one has eyes on this stolen. In part, because St. Paul has a different Fair. chase policy than us, but you know it is before ten. What time is it now? It's ten thirty, ten forty. Yeah, ten fifty. I mean, obviously, the optimum time to pursue is after people are off the streets from the bars and stuff. Most most businesses now close by ten since COVID. It's a different world of COVID, but but we tell our guys that ten to three are legitimate times to chase, but it depends on. The circumstances. What's that doing? Yeah, got me. Is that around 210, we're out with the party. I'll be around. Heavily intoxicated. We're 183. Yeah, well, I, I don't know cars as good as Pat. Yeah, I mean, it's about 183. Oh, back to 183. <laughs> Just as info for you, if you want to take a look in the actual stolen yeah. there's a couple of suspects named okay. and listed in there. Pull up the camera in that walk circle. Oh, yep. There are a large number of people there, probably like 75 to 100 yep. at least. Copy on camera, large group. Two or one? One. Okay. I'll turn it off here. Point twenty-five. We 
we got it north on Dale at front, you guys. North on Dale at front. 2025. 2025, go ahead. Pursuit northbound, we're behind the North silver RAV4. Northbound Dale. Passing from. Lawson. Eastbound Lawson. Too good. No more air in my tires. No more air in the tires. Still Eastbound Lawson. Still Eastbound Lawson. Paris with Channel 2, please. Can you tie us with 2 or let 2 know that we're in Central Line? Still Eastbound. This one or the next one? Going north on Virginia. Virginia. It's right there. Okay. Sorry about that. I saw him north on Virginia from Lawson. And he was going back west. Kilo Sierra 170760. Kilo Sierra 170760. Kilo Sierra 170760. Did he park? I think he went back west on this street. So there is a car facing south, but lights on. Relation 807, would you put me out at 722 Magnolia Avenue East? That's what I'll be pulling out. Okay. I sent a large group up there. They're, they're holding someone. They're putting someone in the back of a. They might, like a he might have pulled in one of these driveways. I'm sure though. There's like a female that just loaded her in the back. Yeah, 2025, we're checking on flight. Probably still large group outside. She is, I'm putting a lot. Yeah, we lost it at Lawson and Virginia. It went northbound. Uh, Driver's going to be a white male. It'll be a large group taking off from the area. That car that's backed into the building, they kind of like threw somebody in the back. Either turn. Or what. Oh, this guy might be seen. The in the area of Lawson. This was the car. Have you threw someone inside the vehicle? No. You see that car that flew by you, ma'am? Which way you went? Okay, yeah, I was trying to make sure I was clearing those intersections properly without. Nope. I didn't want to. There's a lot of blind intersections there. But he definitely turned back west on this street. Okay. So. Have you SUV leaving the area has a party in the back? Well, I do want to say the reason I spotted that car is my wife used to have a rail full. Oh. That's why I said I'm not it's great like at like cars, SUV, but that looks like my wife's car. Yeah, people just said they went south on the goal, see if I could catch up to it. Anyhow, guys, last seen westbound on Cook from Virginia. Not Copy, sure what party is saying that there's a, someone unconscious in the vehicle. Where's that at? What else we got going here? 28 pulling into 200 Wabasha. Copy, pulling into 200 Wabasha. 28 I'm with them. Copy. Be out in Black Hat. Holiday. Copy. Wait, when I was at the uh, apartment, uh, everyone was kind of stopped by me, but I guess some parties went back upstairs to the party room. Didn't really, you know, obviously this car is brand new. I haven't really driven it, but the tires are a little bit lower than average, but yeah. I didn't really like the way those the ABS brakes handled on that turn. Yeah. I mean, obviously we didn't make the turn until I let the brakes off, which is fine, but it drives different than my other car. The female is not unconscious. I got 42 pounds of pressure in those other cars. We're code for here right now. This is now like a 36. Copy. Four females out unconscious. So it sounds like a St. Paul officer might know the suspect behind that silver RAV4. Okay. Do they think he's tied to the, It's going to be that address on Pasco, 800 block of Pasco. Okay. Well, you're going to have
have to do a pursuit report at some point. Just remember that. Yes. What interesting. He, he didn't, clear me from he didn't flee right, right away when he Avenue. saw our red lights coming down Dale. No, no one. Yeah. Than ever. 20 and 25, you can clear it. And you can tie it into 183's call. It's going to be the same vehicle. Two and eight. If it hasn't been aired, parties at the gas station here are refusing services. Happy parties at the gas station refusing services. I'm going to go back on three. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn this one back on now. Feel free, just so you know, feel free that um, if something happens, yep. grab, you don't have to use your radio. Okay. Yep. Grab whatever one works, Sounds good. Where it works for you. You become a habit after 25, four more ride alongs. <laughs> I have no idea why he is calling. Who's calling? Then you exhale. Oh. Well, go ahead and do it. Yes, sir. How are you? It's going good. No, it sounds like Sean McManus knows who the driver is. Perfect. Yep. Take care. Bye. He's working the street racer detail for St. Paul. Okay. And just want to know if we had any further info. Yeah, the only thing I want, I am going to tell our buddies. It, just for extra info, when we first saw the car, it was eastbound on Minnehaha at the incident. Intending to go eastbound on Minnehaha, just in terms of where he was headed. Just let our troops know that. 44, 42 out. Show one road, Bobby. Copy. I can't remember to turn the air conditioner off when we're in pursuit. A little extra power. Oh, that's you? Go ahead. The address from Milton Randall's ID shows an 1132 radio is right in that area where you last saw the vehicle. So no one can see that. Two from uh, Boss. Anybody at 84 Wabasha? Yeah, you we can circle back. The 1132. Okay, from 1132 Virginia is what the ID shows. Copy everyone on the Wabasha call. He might have pulled right into it. Oh, it could have been. You know what happened? He took a left on Cook and then down the yep down the alley maybe. Could one of you or some of you head to eleven thirty two Virginia? It's gonna be the address of the possible suspect. Well, that would be good because we don't really like it when cars disappear into thin air. Yes. That's a reflection on us not do, being able to catch them. But when they dip and dot and hide, that's that's acceptable. Yep. Did he have a baseball hat on? He did. Yeah. And he yep. was kind of he was lighter skinned, maybe Hispanic or white or what. With Correct. Me. Yeah. Maybe facial hair. He's got to make sure my wife gets different cars every two years, and then I know what's going yeah, on. Oh, true. Two oh two. We're just going to get people to disperse from this area as of right now. What's going on down there? Oh, it's. Happy work on getting people to so disperse from the area. That rooftop party that was maybe shown earlier. Oh. 
It's a 84 Wabasha. Oh, okay. Kids? Yeah. Well, we check this out. We should go down there. We right. should. Hey, if you haven't shared this, you know, I know everybody's kind of already shared it with their friends for three years, but you know, just tell them it's a busy night in the saintly city. Busy night in the saintly city. Introduce them to Darren McDonald. I don't think Daring Darren is maybe the right thing because you know you don't we don't really want daring people, but no, you know, but someone else suggested Darren the pit master. <laughs> I like that. I like that. But you don't. You have to get a few more pits in. Yes, I can't be a master of one. You can't. Yeah, you gotta. And, and I just for the record, okay, because I love your tactics. You just pitted that guy right into a cement wall. Just because he walked like fifty Minnesota. That was his fault. Twenty-three. Suki still. Suki technically is. Fly County. Mail and how to eight seventy passable. Call the guy who's using Facebook. Oh, he may be watching. Oh, he was watching Facebook. Oh. Well, there you have it. 2400 received. It's, it's good that we got. See, I, 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 I like it where I know. I don't have to turn the channel. University Avenue. Oh, one, yeah. two, three. Yep. That's just me. Everybody has got a different Happy. system. Happy. But, you know. Happy birthday. 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 Requires verification when you get there. All right, so basically, there's the St. Paul car right there. He's gonna probably go down. So we're looking Our at 11:32. Yep. He's going to. The, this is 1,200 on Maryland. So. Oh, Our incident has been updated. Oh, it's, no, these are our cars. So. Point three for county. It's gonna be a positive ID based off a deal photo. This is who they're saying it is. Hmm. Well, we didn't see that. Hey, do you see my flashlight? Twenty-seven forty-three. Might have flown Second out during the chase. Second first to start. Two to the top of Triple two seven three at New Bohemia for a fight. Two groups of people going after each other. Someone mentioned having a gun. Unknown description. Uh, 1141. Okay. Uh, let's hit, the, hit the alley here. Copy. I think Chad said that they have them, maybe. Did you guys say that you had them? No, they were just saying that's a good idea for the driver. Copy that. Okay. So there's no alley there. No. So. Brian and I, two tenants fighting with people. Down there on the lava show. We gotta go down there, I think. Happy time to We gotta check this driveway at 1132 once. Then we gotta get downtown. Where are they at? Seven chest time, front of this is 1100 here. So see if you can put your light on. 1107. You clear me from 2144 University Avenue, and I'm EOT. What are we at? 1120. Copy. Send it to me. Copy. 26. 27 is the air clear. In west, affirmative. Central's got an officer fighting. Yeah, yeah. Which one? It's the the Why is somebody put me around on that? I can't find them out here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, those those cars got plates on them, right? Yep. So. Copy not located. Two ten. What is your location? 
109, they're across 7th Street and Chestnut. Yeah, I'm going to be in. Cross 7th and Chestnut, 4994 is one state. Well... Yeah, 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 Slow everyone down, we are code four. Code four. Tell me we're clear as well. Two seven, New Bohemia can slow. Code four, can swim the 10 to it, 2306. Joel one, I guess two of the squads will have to come back to Wabasha and leave. Head down to Wabasha? Yeah, I head that way anyhow. I mean, I don't know, I'm just trying to think where he went. He did not go east after he turned Oh, back. so it's showing at 4008 selling. What? I don't know who posted that. That's where the car is? K-U-L 202 said four zero zero. Oh, is that a message we're getting or what? Oh. Yeah, that's on the thread. Oh. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, oh fuck. Six two zero. Hi. All we need here is a boss for our code for. Okay. Four twenty, I'll be on a couple blocks. Copy. Hi. Maybe you should back up. Park right there on the curb, and, and consider staying here. Hey, sir, you're blocking that driveway. Pull ahead another 20 feet. Yeah. Yeah. New message. Mute that for one minute, will you? Gonna be a uh, stolen out of White Zeta. Which one's the KUL? The one we were chasing? Nope. It's a Hyundai Elantra. And I missed that. Where did, did someone spot it? 
if anyone wants tracking, RO has tracking if anyone wants to attempt. Okay, we can probably mute that. But anyhow, back to this young man we just stopped here. He had an argument with his girlfriend. He was upset with a conversation they had. We won't tell, get into the depths as to what it was about. But uh, we scolded him and counseled him. One nine five eight. And uh, he was very apologetic. Got the point. Thankfully, he didn't flee. Going to go back inside, cool off. A little different things going on tonight. Different places, different stuff. Yep. You know. So are you are you on the car theft thread too? Am I? Yeah, because but there's something else going on there too, right? Or is that the same information? Yeah, it's uh, why is that a stolen? Okay. All right. Well, let's what is that called? Right. It's a Hyundai Tucson, though, right? Correct. Okay. I'm going to head downtown, take a look at the bus stop down there. I think it's the best to try to get them on the main, but we're just trying to... So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is... Oh, go ahead. I'm going to turn... 2825 or code 4. Thank you. on these police pursuits are made for anywhere from 36 to 44. Obviously the ride isn't as good at 44. When I say ride, it's a little stiffer. But the but the, the tire holding its shape on a corner is better. So this is the black Durango versus the gray Durango. Four twenty to two hundred one. Can I get you on four? You doing okay with your partner? I am. I don't know if you can. You think they, they should give us a breath test from all, the, all the marijuana we're inhaling oh, from other people? From everywhere? Oh my goodness. This is yeah. painful. Agreed. Can they make a plant that smells better? <laughs> Why don't they make marijuana that smells like a cigar? You know, a lot of people don't like that, but that's at least got an aroma to it, right? Yeah. Now totally. That, uh, you can make a million dollars on that if you made a if you made a cigar tobacco, I took marijuana that smelled like a cigar. By the way, if you're from different states, marijuana is now legal smoking in public places in uh, Minnesota. That's why we're having this conversation. Yep. August first. Okay, so. and a couple more shout outs. Happy birthday to Melissa and Hugo. Turned 48 on August 10th. 
love from Kathy Lydon. Happy birthday to Chloe, who celebrated her golden birthday on August 11th. Love from Grandma Mary Lee. Happy birthday to Samantha Ware, who's a backseater since day one. Turned 33 on August 12th. Happy birthday to Amy Barris on August 13th. And her sister, Sue Barris, on August 21st. Both backseaters since day one. Wish you both happy birthday. And happy birthday to Carlos Elias. August 7th, love from your sister, Teresa. Hey, can you just mute that for one minute? I can. Come on, tree. Okay, and we're back. Have another shout out. This time is for my wife Kathy from Steve Lydon. Uh, it's her birthday tomorrow. Your, your wife? No. Oh. So it says one last shout out request, I promise. This time for my wife. Uh, th- oh, but that's from. Devin, Devin Lyden. Devin Lyden. So yep. Devin Lyden's wife. So I if will. Steve Lyden got married again. He didn't. He totally <laughs> just dissed us. Yeah. So I will read this verbatim. Oh, but did you read? Did you see that bottom part there? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Maybe that's a different one. Oh yeah. Okay, go ahead. Keep uh, go ahead. I I assume Devin will get a chuckle out of this. The shutout says, one last. Sh- Shout out requests. This time for my wife Kathy. It's her birthday tomorrow, and we will be out watching again. She's 41 and grew up and graduated from White Bear Lake. Uh, they have three children together, not including their husbands, and it says. <laughs> Married to the sexiest man alive. Well, there is that. There is that. So, happy birthday, Kathy. And wish you the best. I don't think I have many gift cards tonight. I'm kind of running short. I get, I didn't grab, there's some Subway ones at the office, but I didn't grab them. So we're gonna, if we get mobbed by the crew here, we're they're going to be slowly disappointed. Yes. How about if I stop at the Speedway over here? Is that good? Or not? I think they're closed. Okay. You can do a Wama shot quick. 200 Wama shot. Yeah. By, let me just do one drive by. Yeah, here, for sure. Familiar, speak English. Try to get a Spanish speaker, please. 
So, down here at the transit station. Construction going on here. Not too many kids in the bus stop tonight. One, two, one. No. Pretty quiet. Not from the caller, it said they were coming down to meet with you. Or we could do M and H as well. Any stairs, speakers in the west that can assist in the east? Yeah, is this road closed? Nope. So, uh, tight little... We're in the gauntlet. So, I had a number of meetings uh, this week. Had a nice meeting with Chief Axel Henry from the St. Paul Police Department talking about. Uh, Sparks, you want to come with me? We'll just observe. Good conversation with Chief Axel Henry. We got a new initiative that John Choi has really been kind of uh, an advocate of called the Non Fatal Shootings Investigation because the St. Paul Police Department has a great and excellent record of solving homicides. It's always been historically over 80%, but usually close to 100%. And, uh, we did check both Central and West. There's no other sign. Hang on, we're just listening to the radios at the same time. What's happening on, what's happening on Wabash on there? And still might be that party that was down at Wabash on. Um, thank you. Anyhow, we're we're uh, the goal here is that when a person is shot or they're shot at, to try to improve the the solvability rate, and that's important because we don't want people shooting back and forth and retaliating, etc. We'd rather arrest the perpetrators. But as fate would have it, turns out that people want to cooperate when someone's dead, but they don't want to cooperate when someone's only injured. Well, of course, Darren, you've seen that a million times when you're on calls. Many, many times. So the cases can be solved. Part of it's just really convincing the witnesses that everybody's better off having the guy arrested and charged sooner. And um, so there's going to be some of the money that came out of the legislative session. There's going to be a new unit put together to solve. Non-fatal shootings. Bravo, two for one ELT. You have yeah, the LTAC radio? Yes, there was. When you're in there, I'm going to find my flashlight, too. Yeah. You can throw it in there. There we go. I got a charger here. All right, Tex, can I get uh, my case number, please? There's a train. Case number 150-441. Yes. One five zero four four one. So, in this particular situation, Copy, it's not you. a good thing. You're no, because Darren needs to use the restroom. I do. <laughs> so, the question is, 
Are we at the beginning or the end of a 200 car train? It's hard to say. Well, you got to finish up those shout outs while we're here anyhow, huh? No, I think I got, them all? got all the shout outs. You did an amazing job. Now, all the new ones that came in since we started, at some point here, I'm going to hand to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you open the cat and read that 84 Wabasha? What the hell happened there? And it's probably the people are still down there causing trouble. Yep. I don't know if it's still in the. If it's in the yep, still going on. What's, what, what, how did it start out? Was it a, a rooftop party or what? It, uh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Darren, I'm gonna get you there faster. This is why I stopped short of that medium there. Yep. So the original call on Wabashan was, there's a large group of 200 people in the party room. At 84 Wabasha, right? Correct. And it says a large group of about 50 are outside physically fighting. Uh, that was about an hour ago, 45 minutes or something. Yep, came out at 10.50, so yep. about 1, 14, 1, 2, 40 2, minutes ago. Okay. A female was maced, asking for medics. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay. Several, no arm at Lucky Station, several new callers saying that 40 teens fighting in front of the building. And where is that? What's the cross street there at 84 Wabasha? I think it's Fillmore. Okay. So they have a rooftop there, huh? Rooftop party area? Yeah. I'm not familiar with that party area. We should go down and examine it more closely. Yeah, it's a newer building, probably five years old now. Really? Okay. Yeah, 910 was checking cameras, sees a large group of 100 people. Okay. Some of the group is heading back into the building. Oh, I know where it is. Yes, we were there on a, we were there on a disorderly party. Remember the lady claimed that they, somebody got threatened with a gun. We found the car and stopped it on Wabasha up above the, uh, Right above the building. Yes, yes. Yep. Yeah, I remember now. That's right. All right. I will be back shortly. Do you need any refreshments? Well, I could use a, you know, I'm, I'm, I could use another Mountain Dew. Yeah. If you don't mind. I would be more than happy mm. to. And, uh, you know, I'm since we're inaugurating your appearance here, you should probably give me a Twinkie. Okay. Twinkie. Power. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Yep. Damaged property. Let me throw this. Yeah. Let's go a little bit. Let's go a little bit. Let's go a little bit. Were you at that party? Yep. Is it still going? Nope. Get you did. Where are you? Where are they headed? Any idea? No. No. Well, someone got new food. Someone, someone went north on Wabba Shop. Are most adults? They look like they are juveniles. Oh, they did. Or 18, okay. Honest. All right. Yep. Th thank you. We are here at the holiday. Hey, Charles. Not on Plato and. Just going to assess noise complaint 1563 Charles Unit 4 allow music. Plato and Wabasha. Century in Stillwater, Texas, Robert Yellow David, 7904. Captain 2331. I do have. Uh, Stillwater at 2331. 
just a couple. Just wanted to say hi to Barb. Barb, I would think I think it's Barb Smith now, but I used to know Barb when she was uh, when Brianna was playing hockey with my daughter Kelsey. I think it used to be Brian. I think it used to be Bob Robel. Really nice person and uh, great mom. Also, Kathy Cheetah. Friends of Kathy Cheetah, stand by a second there. How are you, sir? You ready to come come to the work for the county? No. Your, your guys are live. But I know you are. I know. I just I just thought to give you a little grief. So you got a sergeant ride with sergeants? Yeah, that's good. We got ex. Oh yeah! Congratulations. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. So. Yeah, I got I got the E team. I wish we had made it to that party. That would have been interesting. He's really nice man, isn't he? Yeah, he's awesome. Very lucky to have him. Uh, we're gonna get back to a what are you What are you going to do now? What's Where are you headed? Find some crime somewhere. All right. Good job. Good answer. Thank you. So Barb, Kathy, hope all is well. Say hi to Bree. Thanks for. Uh, Thanks for everything you guys do, and if you run into my nephew, Jordan, say hi to him as well. Wait, 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 I'll be able to see Just want to say hi again to Barb Carlson. She's been one of our original backseaters since the beginning. Barb, thanks for all your uh, support, encouragement, comments over time and I know that you've been uh, you've been helping helping our friend uh, with some of her her projects and books about live on patrol and uh, thank you for that help but a little birdie told me that uh, you've been doing that so thanks Barb For those of you that were watching the parade there with the smartest man, Kyle Mestead, uh, I call him Mestead. I always have. I like the name of Mestead, but I think by birth it might be Mestead. But Mestead has a stronger, stronger consonants to it. But anyway, he's our smartest man. He was up at the parade in Moundsview with the former mayor there, Carol. And uh, also, I think Nicole was up there. I heard that the. the stream was a little buffering, a little problematic. Sometimes that happens at large gatherings like that. But uh, in either case, I wanted to mention that Kyle, smartest man, spotted two uh, stolen cars on Highway 61. 439, clear traffic. Southbound on 61. And Happy up there in White Bear Lake. And he's able to follow them until we were able to get other cars on him. We did have a little pursuit attempt, but we, we weren't able to continue pursuit, but we recovered both cars in uh, Dinkytown or University of Minnesota property. So, uh, great job by Kyle finding those two cars, and he was right, he was right in the parade tonight. John Frank. Tell me You're a good man. You're a good man. Margaret in Arcade, Minnesota, Kilo Hotel, Yankee, 319. This is a few more uh, shout outs, as mentioned, and Kyle Easton finding the. Uh, oh, the, the stolen? Stolen the other day. That, yeah. was, that was a good run. It was really good. Yeah. Good job there. Stolen Audi and stolen limo. 
So you see what happens here. In the course of our live on patrol, in addition to the ones that are PIO, Steve Linders, amazing PIO by the way, people start sending more messages. Okay? So, we'll go to right when we start here, okay? Some of the ones that earlier I would just ignore. But here, 918. Seth Alexander, are we going live? Yes, we started late, Seth. Ryan? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are, how you? are you? How's your night? Good. 23 gets your tango. He's a good man. He's a good man. You got a couple pups in the back, huh? It's Shepard night, huh? Fantastic. You know, I didn't I didn't know this till about a year ago, but I read some research that dogs sniffing smells while they're driving around is like exercise for them. You know, it really it really is. You know, you can take them to a park; they love running and stuff. But even even sniffing smells gets their brain going, and so when they go home, they're more relaxed. No. Huh? Really? Oh, nice. Uh, after driving around? It's cool. That's cool. Where are you guys from? West St. Paul. West St. Paul? Fantastic. Maybe we'll get up there. <laughs> Darren got me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we get up there. We're not afraid to chase people into West St. Paul. Nope. But if it's a Ramsey County stolen, or they came through our district, we'll follow them to your town. I don't know if we can get out here. No, they're, kind of they're, they blo are. they're blocking us in. All right, thanks for stopping. Have a great night. Nobody behind me, right? Nope. Let's talk to those two sergeants while we're in there. Yeah, <clears throat> Gleason and Beerworth. Yeah. I don't know Beerworth. I know Gleason. Good yeah. guy. Yeah. We just got promoted. They both did. Oh yeah. Within last month. Yeah, both good cops. I told was it take two sergeants to make one officer or what? <laughs> <laughs> I like cars that are paired up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so back to this project. Okay. Here we are. You ready? Well, I don't know. Sometimes we get shout outs. Not on tonight. We don't have anything like that. There we go. Kids, that's probably where they ended up. Is that you or me? It could be me. Well, your thing is here. Your thing is on the end. You know what I mean? Your little. Oh, no, yeah. That's, there we go. Yeah. Um.
Okay, I have two more sh shout outs that we have. Shout out to Jeff Iskirka. Again, I'm sorry if I'm slaughtering your name. He's getting knee surgery next week and could use some good vibes. Good luck to you, Jeff. Happy birthday. A shout out to Allie Nelson. We had a birthday on August 19th. Another shout out to happy birthday to Nick Barrier, who turns 14 on August 23rd. Happy birthday. Tyler Rupert, happy birthday is today. Happy birthday, Tyler. Lynn McCurdy is asking for four shout outs. So, happy birthday to William. Got a birthday on August 2nd. Uh, Aunt Stephanie, whose birthday was August 10th. And Nana Joyce, her birthday was August 26th. Happy birthday to everyone. And I would also like to wish Jen Omni Lickfold a happy 50th birthday from Jamie and Brian. Wish everyone happy birthday. And uh, happy birthday, shout out to Austin, maybe Austin Hunter, September 9th, coming up. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Call Mark Suki. Two and eight. Two and eight. Three out of four. Is there a Spanish speaker available? Yeah, if you want to be successful. Can you channel two for a Spanish speaking officer? In the law enforcement world, make sure you learn a second language. Very beneficial. I haven't used my German that much. Once too. or twice in my years. My, my. Okay, another birthday shout out to Uncle Nick Gurr. What's your plan? Has a What's birthday tomorrow. Is 50th. Happy 25th anniversary to my wife Heather from your husband Donald. Who's the he? Okay. Is, uh, is anybody from the um, there? The P, anybody from the PD working on it over there or not? Just want to say hi to okay. the Zangs if you're out there watching. Any other Hope you're having a great night. Right. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. He's a good man. Gabby, thank you for joining. I'm just curious if anybody else. Is. All right, so who, who, who's our liaison? You or Nick or? No. Okay. Have a good night, Damien. All right. Where is she at? Part three, four, we're turning. Happy. St. Paul. Yeah, this is a wait time. Two seven one for midnight EOT. Two seven one. Any other swap for midnight EOT? Where is she at, Mark? Twelve one eighty. Yeah, sure. Twenty three forty. One eighty. Have a good night. Anyone else for midnight EOT? One two nine. 
Are you talking about Minneapolis? Okay, I didn't know you were there, but all right, thank Have you, me? thank you. All right, bye, bye. Okay. One eight three status. Go for him. Like maybe the Solon Hyundai is moving. Like no driver. So I don't know how is the stream going tonight. Are we just trying to be anybody complaining about buffering? Or are we doing okay? I have not seen any complaints. I think that's it's a little better than average. Yeah. Can you get a case number, please? Two one nine case number is one five zero four six three. One five zero four six three. Okay, thank you. I'd like to get Welcome this 2348. image just a little bit tip, tipped up. See if you can tip it without pulling it off. That's the problem. See if you can just you know grab just grab the black stuff and see if you can tip like that out. But it, the problem is it doesn't what it's really doing is moving the dash. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's Let's pull over. You know, remember how I said that the further you go up, the better, except. So we'll loosen that screw there. Yep. Drop it down one notch. Oh, that's two notches, three notches. You know what I mean, though, right? Yep. Okay, now we're talking. That might be a back where it was. There you, go. there you go, right there is good. You can drop it a notch. You get it's only there's only certain notches, but now you can adjust. Now you now you can adjust that. Grab it a little more. Good, so I'm waving Yeah, that's right. grab it. Grab this, the black part, and I'll okay. tip it forward a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. I think that's better, huh? Good evening. Two three nine D O T. Yeah, that looks better. Copy. Have a good night. Two three forty nine. People will have to try to look up onto the screen. Yeah. Better. Talk myself into it, anyhow. <laughs> Can we go for twenty three fifteen? Yeah, we're going for it right now. Can we go for twenty three fifteen? Yeah, they're saying it's been very good, and then hasn't buffered at all tonight. Well, you're our lucky charm, dear. I am. That positive energy. What I do usually, I go into the dictionary. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. And I look up all the D words. And then find one that goes with Darren. For nicknames? Yeah. I like it.
Looks like your color is at the intersection of Rosenberg and a red Civic, Minnesota license, Alpha Kilo Sierra 163. The color is name is Marty Lee and has an order of protection against their ex name Tofu Zhang. And they, the subject was attempting to get into her vehicle. He is now walking eastbound on the road. should probably spend some time on the east side. Old, we haven't really been over there much. Wearing a white shirt and khaki shorts. We got over there and as soon as we got over there, Stolen was over here. Yep. And we came down Dale. you have this on your phone? If you don't, you can get it. This Field ops? Is, huh? I do not have it. So, this app here, where you get all the all the calls on your phone. Oh, well, that's really cool. You can't run uh, plates. Plates. That's the only downside. But I mean, for the most part, getting all the comments on any calls when you're not in your car. So it's kind of a nice little thing. I like when people have little outdoor parties and everybody gets along. Oh, for sure. Suspicious color hearing of car alarms for the last hour, possibly from the auto lot nearby. Seeing a male walking around the car wash with a flashlight. Oh, here we near go. The rear side. Can you open that one up? Now we've had so many dealerships hit in the southwest suburbs. Now there's a call. I thought he said in the car lots over there. It's probably Maplewood or White Bear. Sounded like there was a call. I am walking around the car lots near the car wash. We got no pendings? Nope. Pretty quiet. What the heck? No pendings? Oh, it's a car wash. Car wash? Which, yeah. which one? Clean Express Car Wash? Where is it at? Uh, 2635 White Bear Avenue. Okay. Tom hearing car alarms for last hour. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And I've seen a male walk around the car wash with a flashlight. It's probably the owner trying to figure out why the alarm was coming off. Huh? Yeah. Do, do, do. Currently, right now, there are no pending calls in the city of St. Paul. That's pretty amazing for a Friday night. Friday night. Friday night, huh? Yep. Especially with school starting in two weeks for St. Paul Public <coughs> Schools. And the fair starts what? Next Thursday, uh, no, not next Thursday already, does it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it does start next Thursday. Six days away. That's going to be fun. Yeah, should you know, be. If our, uh, if our um, summer so far is any indication, it's probably going to be some great weather. Yeah, they're actually talking about next Wednesday, maybe being up in the hundreds. Hey, by the way, on that front there, you know, we have a youth program uh, headed by uh, a youth program headed by Chinu Lee. And we will definitely be bringing some kids to the fair. We have one major contributor that donated money for uh, their tickets. 
get there, but you know the fare is expensive. Food is expensive. And so, if you're at Cub, and you can buy some cheap discounted ride tickets. Actually, I don't know if you can still do that, because now they're going to an electronic version. Yeah, they're doing, like, like where you buy... You buy an a, a electric piece of car. Yeah, well, maybe a kind of credit card ticket. Well, whatever, if you can... If you uh, want to donate any ride tickets to the children we're going to bring in there, or fare tickets themselves. I mean, we have cash. We'll decide how to divvy it up, but we won't have near enough for many rides. We love uh, introducing, you know, young kids, good kids, immigrant kids, that and uh, kids that are part of our reading and baseball and hockey programs to the fair. They're chaperoned by law enforcement people. If uh, if you want to donate some, go to Cub, buy some discounted tickets, and send them on in. That would be our goal here to uh, raise some raise some funds to bring some kids to the fair. Many of them for the first time ever. Deeply, deeply appreciated. You know where to send them. Just send them to the sheriff's office. You can direct them to me or my assistant, Jim Moody. Or you can direct them to Darren McDonald. You can direct them to Pat. I'd like to I'd like to call you DJ. We gotta think of like we got we got Patrick J. Scott. So we oh, D, yeah. you know we could have Darren J. Scott, we could call you DJ. DJ McDonald. <laughs> what is your middle name? Thomas, I'm sure my DT, dad. DT? Yeah, we can't go with DT. No. We can't go with DT. We could go with DJ. How's everybody? What's up? What's up? What, what's up? What's up? What's up, Hogwarts? What's happening? You put the Christmas lights on and everything. Yeah, well, do the side ones come on? Are the side ones? Are those on? Are those on? Am I that damn fine? Huh? Let me know. Am I that damn fine? You are. You are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we're here. We're here for you guys. We're here for you guys. We're here for you guys. Making... She's fine as well. I said. You got a lighter? Yeah, I always want to know what the fuck. You know, a, our, our other partner Pat's not working. Well, he doesn't smoke anymore, but he always has a lighter. Sorry about that. He's got a. He's got one right there. Light it off him. Have a good night. I do notice a lot of people up here are are new in town. You know, I oh, mean, I've been they? coming up here for years. Yeah. A lot of people are, what do we got going on? We got a siren? Is that medics, you think? Yeah, sounds like medics. You got three on, right? Two turns up here. I do. Okay. Turns in Marshall, we got with Minnesota Plate, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Lima, 531. Um, maybe. How's it going? Direction, Paula. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, new St. Paul on the in here, which is fine. Welcome. Yep. Copy, sir. Yeah. St. Paul Fire. Run down to the foundry. Foxtrot Lima 531 coming back clear on a 05 blue Let's Chevy and Paula registered for Groveville. So, nationally, those of you on the west and east coast, you have seen a oh, Chicago too, a huge increase in flash mobs attacking retail stores. 
Macy's, Kohl's, higher end stores. And uh, we are preparing for that possibility here as well. And we're not gonna we're not just gonna lay down and let people run out run out of stores. We actually we actually try to arrest people here. So but those of you that live in uh, LA, San Francisco, I think Seattle's had some too. Chicago had a big flash mob theft problem. And you know, I was very disappointed in the mayor there who didn't really take it too seriously. I, I shouldn't say he didn't take it seriously, but he didn't like the reporters re referring. Oh, that didn't you sound good. Nope. Oh, that tire pressure doesn't drop too fast. He did not like the reporters referring. With Minnesota Kilo, to these, Echo, five minutes. To these, uh, Copy mobs of kids that were stealing as mobs. No. Did you see that? No, I did not. So, I mean, here, here's the thing. Don't get, don't... Get caught up on small uh, stuff. Small stuff, yeah. yeah I mean, they, and he was saying, well, they're not Al Capones. Yeah, okay. Time. Well, nobody's saying they're Al Capones. The word mob doesn't apply just to the Italian mob in the 1930s. Bravo 764. Mm. How's everyone? How's everybody? So How are you guys? What's going on? Go home. Are you guys, did you guys have fun tonight? I did have fun. I never Good. get to get out. I have two I've never awesome. actually... You know what? I've ac I've been here many times. I've never seen you here. This is my first time here. Mine too. My mom awesome. told me not to come here because it's unsafe. <laughs> well, when we're but here, it's safe. When we're here, I wasn't worried. When we're you guys awesome. got my back. So well, in the bouncers Definitely here, is, is the bouncer. It's legal now, right? Because that's all I do. Okay. Yep, it is. That's all I needed to say, yeah. and that's I all don't I don't do that. Yep. Lying, bitch. She does. <laughs> hey, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's legal. It's legal. Uh, I thought so. But I don't yeah. have any. Just yeah, I the Me neither. I gave it all to her. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Look at she's so happy. Hey, so she what? Is. So how was it inside tonight? What was you know going what? on? What was going it was on? Not bad. It was. There was only like six it was people mellow. in there. I've never. I've uh, compared to what you would expect. That's it? it was mellow. Literally six people. Wow. Well, well, we weren't here long. Was, I called my mom. She said at my home. I said no. I'm out here. I'm going there. She said promise me you're not gonna go there because it's bad. Yep. So, I walk in there. Here. Yeah. So. I must have heard you were coming. It's like, you know what? I shut it down. You know what they yep. thought? What's your first name? Alexandra. Alexandra. Like the queen. Well, well actually, well, they, not like the, the king. It was Alexander. Was the Alexander was the king. I was named after Alexandra. You know what, the Alexandra? They thought you were an undercover cop, so Maybe everybody, I everybody don't left. Fit in here, right? She snitches right. on everybody. I, I know. Boots on. Well, we went to school together, and this bitch gave them my hall passes. <laughs> what school was that at? We went Como. to Como. Como. Did you know how? What? Well, what year did you graduate? 2013, 12. Did you know? I got Roy, both medals. Did you know my good friend Roy? I Mag graduated twice. Roy Magnuson. He was a teacher there. <gasps> I know him. Oh my god. Yeah. He was amazing. He's a great he guy, isn't it? Yeah, he was a good teacher. He helped yeah. me graduate. He yeah, me. he helped you graduate. <laughs> well, Roy is a Roy is a wonderful <laughs> guy. Nice person too. <laughs> Nice person. Very nice. He nice. was a good teacher, actually. So what are you guys doing for in life now? Me, I work. Oh, yeah? Taking care, Take of, care of my kids. Okay. And that's it. It's awesome. Pay my bills. I'm an upstanding citizen. Awesome. No. Don't break the law. What kind of job? I'm a PCA. I take you care work in healthcare. I'm good for you. A lot, actually. That's a growth. That's a growth industry. I get mad industry. because, like, I actually work for a lot of companies and seeing the abuse and neglect is fucked up. With elderly, and, oh, it's so oh, it's bad. Super I don't know sad. if you guys ever heard of Morning Glory Home Care, but they're fucking amazing. Are they they actually care good. about the people. That's you guys. And their employees. That's, that's you. her. I've worked through North Square. I've worked through um, Dunn Garment. Um, health partner. Professional caregivers, which was um, through the state, and that one wasn't good either. They paid like shit, and they just hired anybody. That's too bad. It's no. Elderly, better women, all the kind of people, they deserve like good care. They do, thank oh, you. They, they definitely do. They don't get it. And we're going to be there soon. 
Um, was the o- was the owner in here? Call me. My name is Julie Schultz, and I will take oh. good care of you. Hey, was was the owner inside? I even my bag. They got years before they're yeah, getting their yeah. ass. We were, we're living. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. That hey, was the awesome. owner in the bar tonight, Mike? Did you see him? Did you meet him? No, actually. Security one of the guys bartenders right there. Yeah. I went to school with, and I was like, I'm looking at him, I know you. Funny. I funny. I do both. I Well, you guys, hey, you guys be safe. Have a Thank good you. night. How's it going, buddy? A lot of people. Good. So, um, listen, how are you guys getting home? Nope. I have a sober cab. Cool. Okay, good. We did awesome. some. Always we, sober cab. Like and if I don't have a sober cab, I call my mom. Nice. <laughs> Facts. I'm 30 and I call my mom. What is your mom's name? Wrong what is your mom's name? Call, First name? My mom's name yeah, is yep. Victoria. Victoria. I like and, Victoria and, and Alexander. Will, and she's what's, a what's nurse too. She's Low battery. Really All right, well, you better, and you better she will hit, come hit and the, pick me up hit, hit in a that. second. Yeah. We're talking to these very fine officers right now. Ramsey County Sheriff. Well, that's not good. Yeah, well, thanks of course, for the it. only county I want to be so in. Oh, oh, hang on, I what's wrong. look at him. He's got sleeves. He's ready. You're ready for it. I am. I need more. That's no bueno. Good. Yep, yep. Well, you, you, guys you are tell very fine that's, officers. That's awesome. Well, it's very Thank nice you. to meet you. Yes. Yep. Thank Have a good night. And, uh, and, uh, Thank you for being normally there is some. Officer. Normally, you, I would. You know, there is some. You got to be careful. You know. Well, I don't know. I just. No. I just go with everything. No, I'm gonna go. Like, I go with uh, Central and. Uh, so I fit in with everybody. I'm a awesome. Libra. I just Libra. Yeah, I flow with everybody. Yep, totally. Nobody, nobody dislikes me. I just kind of mesh. Yep. <laughs> Very nice visiting with yeah, you. Awesome. You guys be safe, yeah. okay? We will. Okay, you guys have a great Thanks, night. Thanks, Alex. Have a good night. Thank Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Be safe, y'all. Thank you. Somebody's pulling her peep on the other side of that car. Yep, I think they're can. Wearing a light colored short Well, Mike's probably watching. Mike, it looks like you're turning into a country western bar. <laughs> See you guys. Later. Later. Thank you. Well, I don't know if Alexandra's mom, Victoria, is watching live on patrol, but if you are, your daughter's safe. Yep, she is safe. Yeah, what happens sometimes, he, this is another thing. You see how the light's not on here? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know how you get the light on. Oh, you push that button right there. Oh. It's not hot all the time. And there's probably a good reason for so it. So it doesn't just drain your battery? Charles, no. Minnesota Play. I don't know why it's Fox not Ju- Juliet Alpha 483. Talk to, to Adam about it for the next car. So, but... I think what happens is, you know, sometimes when you drop stuff down little USB holes. Oh, yeah. It shorts it out. Yep. Uh, I think it allows you to turn that USB plug off so that uh, it doesn't short out the whole system. That's the theory, but we're charging now, right? We are. Yep. I got a warning sign. Warning. warning. All right, we're gonna go to three here. Be the primary on channel three. Yeah, there. See what, see what we can come across over there. That was the Foundry Bar at Jackson in Maryland. We just stopped by to visit with people. They're closing up there at midnight. I don't see anyone at the intersection anywhere. We'll be checking the area. Traffic check in the area, 10 minutes. Adam Henry, 854, Silver Lake, 10 minutes. 4492. Where is he posting that uh, big information? That vehicle must Car theft threat or uh, yeah. Have you hit a little bit? 
Oh, you want to? We're just coming by Speedway. You want to tell uh, the, our backseaters about your little encounter the other night? I mean, just you know, uh, basically, short version. Darren and Chad were following a stolen. They boxed it in, and they got the stolen. The driver took off on foot. And I'm not saying he outran them. I'm just saying, you know, they didn't catch him. We definitely did not catch him on that. But it was a good effort. Event. In yep. the, and in the past, that driver has driven recklessly. So just the fact you were able to block him in without getting your squad ramp, that was a plus, right? Yeah, I'm, originally he tried pulling forward, and he was attempting to drive up that little hill. Was that 1034 McCubbin? Yep. Interesting. Three seven one. Two on the copy. Ten thirty four. Matilda. Matilda. Yeah, that's. Yep. Constant. Yeah. 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 Y
think they arrested two individuals, two males. No. And there was uh, another um, male that was pistol whipped. I think the argument started at the liquor store. Okay. At that location. So if you're if you're not local, you probably didn't see the news story on Lower Town residents being fed up with crime. I don't know if you saw it. But I did. Two channels ran the story. And we just had an update. There's a subject at the sump end of the lot. The commander, the alarm company, possibly three figures of that central district, vehicle. did say that one factor is we don't have enough officers to respond in a timely fashion to all the calls. And I appreciated the honesty of that guy. I won't put him on Front Street, but the commander at the meeting. And that is a problem. I mean, they, they do have more cops now than ever, but... Can you reopen my call? Just peeking at this guy, because he's been roaming around the BCA building over there. And you can do... He's got a USB two, two, six call tools to my call. What's up, partner? What's up? How about you? Good. You're good. Where yeah. are you headed? Oh, I saw you walking through the, by the BCA over here. Where are you coming from? Come on, where are you coming from? Apartments. Apartments? All right. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks for watching. Bob and Pat, but tonight it's Bob and Darren. Nice to, nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Nice young man. Just going to take a little shortcut through the BCA there. It's Being good behind you. By the way, Darren, one of the things that Darren does is he's our primary liaison now to the Somali community. I mentioned that because I believe that young man was a Korean immigrant. Correct. And so we need to do more. We're hiring our first Korean deputy here. Yeah, very, very, very exciting. And uh, so we're excited about that, but we have a number of Somali deputies. But Glad to assist in 100 to copy on shots. I heard Whitecliffe and Hersey. One caller said they heard about 13 shots, possibly from Whitecliffe, Hampton area. Two minute delay. So Darren has been working with our Somali community on a number of initiatives, and and uh, I'm very excited well, about some of those outreach efforts. Darren, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the fact that you're you know, enjoying it. Yeah. It's, uh, and all of our, every Somali person I run into says, just says great things about how much they appreciate you. I appreciate that comment. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's super beneficial, uh, educating and assisting those that uh, may not be, uh, have English as their first language and not, Fully accustomed to Central, East, the roles and responsibilities K9. of police and sheriff deputies, and how how we can assist communities with a wide, wide range of issues. And, and now they've invited uh, you and I to go to Somalia next year. Correct, I have. To, Kind of the northeastern part, Puntland, yeah, which is a little safer than, than Mogadishu itself. And, uh, and so collaborating our law enforcement, which is key in every country. Yeah, it's good about building those relationships. Darren's going to be my personal bodyguard if I go there. <laughs> and vice versa. I'm going to run into Picard, my friend Picard. He's going to say, I'm the captain now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, for those of you that don't know, I, have, I did enjoy working with the Somali community for about 10 years. One of the reasons I 
I don't have the time to do it anymore. I really wanted to find someone like Darren that's willing to, to do that. Have you talking about the whole the loading vehicle the trailer? going to be cool hiring, hiring our first current deputy. Yes, that will be a huge resource for all the other deputies that need language help and skills and translate and know customs and traditions. Rev. Daryl Spence was riding with uh, one of the truckers out there, showing the parade today. Oh. I, I gotta get a video of how that went. Rev in an 18 wheeler. Nine, I'm speaking with someone saying that he's just loading up some vehicles and the owner is supposed to know about it and brings them to another lot off of Randolph. So if you want to just check in with the complete owner and see if he knows about that. The person here is saying they're for eye care. What's going on, gentlemen? I don't think that guy's gonna stay. What do you think? One, two, seven. Why don't you just. Hey, another shop fire call in the area of 831 Howell. How's it going? I don't think you got a license plate on that car. Do you guys have ideas?
Two things going on here. We got the State Patrol channel and the LTEC channel. I'm going to hand this to you. Start now, coming up to 52. Okay, well, directly behind us. Oh, turn around and see if we can help the State Patrol out on this car doing 120 on 95. Yeah, vehicle. I'm not sure if they're both talking about the same car. Avenue. The one guy Color usually works for the West Sector. The problem is those two frequencies are on different zones, so you can't just turn back. Yeah. For instance, it looked like an Audi went back past me with his lights off. We are felony stop south on 35W just before 36th Street. See, that's a different one. This is where we need. Got two things going on in the state patrol. 669 Metro, I'm continuing through the comments, but I'm going to just continue the pursuit. I don't have eyes. Well, it's visual. Red Audi, no lights on. That's saying eastbound 94. At 52? Correct. Well, they might be, we, timing might work out, huh? Yes. 32 minutes. Maybe not, but maybe. So we're in West. Compliance. State. Take it driver out. We got three things going on. I think about how reliant we are as humans on the other people driving their car. And how lucky we are that there is some structure to society still. In a straightaway after the comments there, I didn't see anything blacked out. You might have got southbound 52. We can clear it. Yeah. Well, we'll go down here. Just for the finishing of the trip. You can go fly in that straightaway. What do you think? Sit on the ramp here, or what do you think? Oh, and I, I think 52's way... No, no, but may, say, assuming he's wrong. Oh. Because he said, what he said was he didn't see anything on the straightaway. Yeah, 294, so he thought he, he was. Yeah, let just sit here for three minutes, because if it's going to come, it's going to come here soon. Yep. Happy driver, your I'm calling out the passenger. Yeah, one of the back. Will you recognize a red Audi? Yeah. I should go down a little further. Um, I'll recognize if the lights are off. How about that one? <laughs> no. So a fair number of racers over in Minneapolis. We've kind of set sent the message over here. When you come over here, you're going to get tagged or towed. So they don't come to Ramsey County much anymore. But they're still. Too slow. Yeah. Which is impressive because with me being a St. Paul officer for 16 years, street racers were one of our bigger complaints from residents every single year. A noise and safety concerns. But I have to commend the State Patrol in Rams County. Yeah, 
No. We're gonna have enough help here. By taking a tough stance on it. Well, misbehaviors, criminals, and all others will go to where the least amount of controls are. Yep. Right? So, it would have been biased by now, so we'll assume it went 52. Yep. He was. And all he said was he had the date wrong. It's later. Yeah. Yeah, I should track that a little closer. Maybe we can help him because technically they shouldn't get. They should because it's only their second time. They should get. Correct. They should get their license removed. In there. No, and they're looking back historically at the, the university. Yeah. That's not really fair. No. Information on driving plane, cell phone 61 from 94. Which is a red Audi. Unknown 28. No lights on. High information at 37 minutes. They went on 61. No. We got a driving complete southbound 61. That would make sense. Yep. There we have it. Yep. And I'm southbound 61 at 494. Well, that might turn out. There's a. Do I think you can cancel 263? We're over on the east side where a state patrol was trying to catch up to a red Audi doing 120 on 94 and they thought it might have gone on 52 but it sounds like it made it to 61 went south on 61 we're going to try to get the cam cameras down there and he might get off on upper afton and i don't know what the delay is on that information came from on chart if i can do my best on star Copy, please. Not match the vehicle. Yeah, I mean, come away with that 61. Three clubs, you want to head to three? We'll head down to Lower Afton in case he gets off of Lower Afton and heads over to McKnight. Sorry, left side building. Good to be in the Battle Creek area once in a while, anyhow. Copy, Home of City Council Member Jane Prince. Well, not necessarily Battle Creek, but just Ward 7. Yeah. Who's not running for office? Jane will miss you. Unfortunately, yep. She's been very pro common sense. How about that? Pro common sense. Yes. And Just read this week that 30 people are running Central for city council spots. Vehicle on Highway 36 on the bridge from Wisconsin to Minnesota. Yeah, I think there's six running in this war. In this war. Yep. But 30 total, huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So. Okay, seven seats. Average right. so four piece. It's, four piece. it's yeah. what do you call that? Uh, the type of ballot it is? Well, it's rank choice. Yeah. Rank choice. Yep. So there's no primary. It's just everybody runs at once. You get to vote for multiple people. Yep. Yeah, there's three current city council that are not running in this election. Yeah, Jane, is Tolbert not running either? Tolbert and Amy Brennan. Oh, Brennan, dude, it's a chance to see change. Yeah. Well, God bless them all. Anybody that runs for office. Agreed. It's a tough job for generally little pay. I wish there was more people that wanted to run, actually, because we can use good people with common sense. 
unfortunately that doesn't always happen. No. Anyhow, back seaters, what do you what do you think about that idea of having a live stream going? all day long alerting you to the stolens that are out there. I mean, sometimes it could be in the car, sometimes it could be in the office, but if we're ever going to fix this stolen car problem, we're going to need more eyes on the ground, right? For, for sure. Yeah, we, could, we might do some land-breaking stuff by true community policing. You don't have to, we don't want you to try to stop them, but just find these, help us find these cars. And as soon as we get the information, we can get it out to you. And here's the other thing is, if you're, if you're homebound, you can still listen and then text your friends about the cars we're looking for. Yep. Your relatives, your, your kids. Well, do we have the plate on that then? On the Audi? I don't know if they ever got the plates on the hobby. Longer changes with the best one pending. Oh, here we go. Here. Oh, I don't know. That might be a different one, huh? Yeah. One thing to recommend for you, 10-9. That might have been the other one. Yeah, I think that Audi was going too fast for him to get the plate. Well, you, think they, you think they would have seen him if he went down there? 494, he saw nothing. Yep. So there's really not many places to get off besides this one. Yeah, not unless they're in Washkowad, like Bailey and Red Rock. Is Bailey before 494? Yes. Just a little bit. Yeah. We had a uh, Canvas Avenue the apartment complex. 327. Manor. 327. Copy. Copy. 43 minutes. 43 minutes. Well, we're down here at Lower Afton and McKnight thinking if it, if it bailed off 61, it might come up this way. The trooper down at 494 said he didn't see it either, so it must have got off at Bailey and weaving its way back to Woodbury. Yeah. Well, that would be innovative, though, if we had a 24-hour live stream. Well, maybe 16, who knows. No sense in having it late at night, except when the nights were working. We could have a host. Matt Marson from our Intel unit <laughs> could be the host. Your host, Matt Marson, Sergeant Matt Marson, will give you the daily briefing on what we're looking for. <clears throat> Jelly Joe would be there. Yeah, definitely updates and briefings throughout the day would be a really good yeah. info. You know, they used to call the stolen thing the hot desk, right? That's what oh. we could call it. We call it the hot desk. Yes. Whenever you called in a stolen, you called it into the hot desk. In the old days. <coughs> Before computers. Cancel. Cancel? Yeah. 1022. 3-6-1. First squad is having a fall. We got a crisis 300, high risk. 
pair of skis was popped over. From where? Went on long ground. Oh, you know, it's probably the 4th Street crew. Seriously, Clark, can you repeat your radio was very static at the end? Yeah. We're trying to catch up to a Chrysler 300. High rate of speed. On 7th and mile. Going on 94 now. I assume westbound? How are you? Seriously, what is their color? Yeah, it's going to be a maroon. Copy uh, on nope. a maroon Chrysler 300 at, at a high rate of speed. Seven the mound going on to 94. What direction? 300 miles a day now. I think he can only get west there. Unless he goes curled around. Yeah. That's a good question. Westbound 94. Well, Copy at westbound 94. It, just like three, three minutes away from these things. Yeah, yeah totally. It's just. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Doing fire clearing the computer. You know, I will say this. I'm sure. I sure enjoy driving on the streets better when there's no potholes. Yes. like they followed it under the freeway, does it? No. Get that right. You did again? No.
Welcome back, everyone. So the thing about Pat's voice, because he has such a radio voice, people always say that he's calming, he puts people to sleep. <laughs> I know, when you guys are clear, how soon is he going to give me a call? I don't really think know. think about the report on Maryland? I don't really know how your voice is going to be received, you know, if it's like, you know, stimulating or comforting. No. Oh. Yeah. DJ McDonald's <laughs> is in the house. I'll keep working on that. What other? Come up with a soundtrack yeah. when I'm on. Hi there, Mrs. Fletcher. You're live on patrol. How is your night going? My night is going fine. Okay, good. Good. Just checking in on you. I'm going to take you off speaker. There you go. So, anything we should know? Fender Power is located on that potential locate heading from Roseville to Cedar Chavez and 52. The license plate on the vehicle will, will be King Frank Hold Mary 332, comes back to a 2016 GMC Yukon on the South St. Paul. Okay. Information on 52 minutes. How's the transmission? Been good? Yeah, my wife says you were, you're her new favorite on Lyle Boat Patrol. I think she just... You know, Fantastic. Everybody, everybody's a new favorite. All Thank the you, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks. Thanks, my I love you, my What a concept, huh? Just join whenever you want. 24 hour live. Oh yeah, and be a great resource. I don't know if you can do 24 hours on Facebook. I gotta check that out. There might be an eight hour limit. Not that you couldn't take a break and start over. Yeah, I'm like positive every Six and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, whatever eight hours you just yep. take a break. We'll have a commercial. Commercial break. You know, we've never used commercials, and that's the one thing I will say. I am so tired of the long commercials on mainstream television. Aren't you? Even CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all the major news channels, the commercials last forever. Oh, and they certainly do, and that's when I start channel surfing. Yeah, that's what we all do, and I hate... There should be a rule where they can't have the commercial at the same time as the other channels. And th No, I agree. <laughs> and then I end up just staying with the channel I switched to, and I right. totally forget what I was even watching in the first place. Well, there you have it. That's the thing. Yeah. And you want to go back and catch... Because they might have promoted a story, but you got to listen to five minutes of commercials before you can watch the story. Like... The Goodhue Police Department being dismantled and disappearing, that was on national news all over. Oh. Five police officers all quit at once and said, we're done. The only paying us $22 an hour. How ridiculous. That's sad. Yeah. But that isn't the only town. There's other towns that have done that as well. Metro 70 cars, information from Ramsey County on a vehicle that they were pursuing but are no longer the Maroon Chrysler 300 unknown 28. Reason for the pursuit was high rate of speed with a five minute delay. Information at 55 Is, minutes. Isn't that the kind of information we could get out faster? Oh, easily. I mean, this, you know, we should 
switch to their channel, right? Yeah. Let them know that it's coming. Yeah. That's the problem. See what club holiday. Turn your lights on. Turn your lights on. Your headlights aren't actually on. Well, I don't know how you turn them on, but now you got the you got that silly. You know how those? That's better there. Like that? I don't know. <laughs> let me let me just see. I don't. It's the problem with these new cars now. Oh. Oh, oh, you do? All right, we'll okay. get her fixed. All right, thank you. No, thanks for not lying. Yeah, help. <laughs> hey, where's the rest of your car? I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Car is missing a few parts. Yes, it is. Gentlemen, yes, sir. how are you? Yeah, I would like to see him. I'll, hey, I'll watch the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> that Buick is. Those are good cars. They last forever. No, no, I've missed. Huh? Happy 81 and 87. No, really? What kind of problems? Huh? What? Oh, lurches! You got a bad. Maybe you got to get bad filter, gas filter, cheap really? replacement. You know, sometimes. Oh, because of the air pressure there. Yeah, wow. could be that. Probably a filter. What year is it? Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Hard to say. Well, here's the thing. It could be your foot. <laughs> 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 Have a good night, gentlemen. Thank you. I heard there was a bunch of back seaters marching in the parade today. Thank you for those that marched and handed out candy. I think led by Stormy. Maybe Cindy, thank you very much. You know, there are, I was thinking about this, I've, I've been studying, for three years now, I've been studying YouTube, you know, live YouTubes. Yep. And if you Google live YouTubes, it'll show you all the live streams that are active. And a lot of them are beaches, no. You know? Yep. Places around the world where locations. You there's nothing really going on. It's just the location. Right? Come on, Corky. I mean, it's kind of intriguing the concept. You just transmit. You know? And people like to bounce around. Some of them have music and waves, mm. you know. That yep. Some of them aren't actually live pictures, but they, what they do is they make it a live stream, but they're streaming other stuff besides what's live. That's really cheating a little bit. 309. So we're down here by Bourne's Bar on Rice Street. We're going to strike up some conversation here. Yep. Check out this car. So he's busy. What is this here? What is that a, is that a, a Le Sabre? Another Buick Le Sabre. Uh. I never seen a car like that. Are you sure that's a little saver? That is a nice car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice car. What year is that? What year? 74. I was around. I was around then. Yeah. I, what was I? 19 years old there in 74. You need more room to park that thing, don't you? <laughs> the thing of beauty. Who's Wolfie? That's, me. That's you? All right. All right. Nice to meet you. That is. Yeah. Roll, roll your window down. Jesus. Cry every day. Pat's not working. He's sick tonight. He'll be back. This is Darren, though. 
Yeah. Well, I remember you too. Yeah. Six eight two Metro. Six eight two. Ten seven. Have a good night. Have a good night. One oh one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What did I do? Yeah, many years ago. Well, well, thanks for thanks for remembering. Glad you're doing good. I'll. I'll say hi to Pat for you guys. See you later. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk about interrupting a conversation. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Busy, busy, busy. How are ya? A lot of people in the fenced area there. Hey, how are ya? How's the dog doing? Bud? It, I know you're not gonna talk to me because of live? Yeah, I know. I know, yeah. I know you really wanna be on live though. Please report. Marshall Washington came in. It does help just give a little visibility down here. Oh, for sure. Disturbances. Some mental health concerns. So interesting, the uh, law in St. Paul is. Uh, what's going on? What's happening? What are you doing over there, Darren? Darren, I'm a replacement. He's 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 uh, the evening. He's protected me. Well, you're protecting him. How about you guys? Well, we're west, so we're on a district. But what are you guys doing? Double two man. Looking for trouble. Looking for trouble. West is quiet. Well. I know. Well, hey, listen, if you find a stolen, stick with it just long enough for us to catch up. Hi, are you familiar with that RO? Thank you. I agree with that. What was that? That when 
Cities that locate a vehicle that they can't pursue, keep, keep eyes on it. Until agencies that can... Yeah, what's, what's that one? They're working on getting a Channel 3. 5 East Zone 694 to go northbound 35 East. Jeez, we got too many things going on now. That one's out on Winthrop, which is built by itself. But they do, uh, those kids hang out down there a lot. Yep. Copy. 150. Twenty-three six five. No need for there. I'll just take another car routine. Copy. We'll cancel the ten one, and only need one car routine. Oh, good job, Heather. Black Kia Soul taken from twenty forty-two Sherwood, working on plate. That's probably the one down on Winthrop. Was that a key, was that a soul or what was it? Trying to find the, the Winthrop call. Yeah, I don't see any calls on Winthrop. I suppose there is a Winthrop up by Sherwood, so that could maybe it's maybe it is the sure, check out the Sherwood call maybe maybe oh this. yeah fled northbound on Winthrop okay. from Sherwood. Uh, I'll take that right now. They're getting out of the car, walking out on the 694. Copy, 10-1, and this month that we're in route can stay in route. Oh. <laughs> That's a code. Muted for a second. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, brother. And just says Black Kiss stole. Uh, 
pretty hard time if I Well, that might come to us. <laughs> en route to that, we see with one adult male. Starting mile 52. That's an Audi there, right? Oh, that's a Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kilo Juliet Zulu 538 on the Solon. Is it black or not? Is it, it is. Yep. So black Kia Soul Rose and Cypress. Yep. Headed down Earl. Someone's got a spot it, right? I'm sure they're listening to us. That's the only get that's the only hiccup here, right? Yeah, for sure. If you guys didn't hear Black Kia Soul. Just stolen on the east side of St. Paul last scene. Southbound Earl. From Rose. Information made by what's left medic car route 30 30 southbound drive unit 211 48 60 year old female unable to speak because of pain at 115. Okay, it was 16 02. How's the show? Good, good. We're in front of Uber right now. Nope, it's all good. Oh, we don't mind. Nice hat. 16 02, apparently. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Well, I wasn't going to say how much I like it, but it's, it's definitely creative. Hey, you, you guys happy haven't seen that you happy birthday. You haven't seen any cars uh, flying by, have you? Cars. Oh, one that went that way pretty quick. Yeah. It, was that way, but it, was it was like five minutes ago or so. We're looking for a stolen black Kia. Oh, uh, yes, it went that way. Stolen black yeah, Kia? It went that way. Okay. You saw it? Yeah, it went that way like three minutes ago. Okay. Awesome. They hauled ass that way. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Course. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good night. Probably did sneak out the arcade. Go back. Saturday or next Saturday? Oh, she made sound like kids. Well, this Saturday is the 19th, so she should only be 19 years old. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Maybe it's the next Saturday, 26. She could have been 26, right? It probably is. Yeah, could have. What do we got here? What do we got here? No. One seven seven traffic. One seven seven. Figure out where the hell the stolen is. Ninety four westbound, just east of Hamlin. Charles Brown, Charles five six five. That was Odie. Yep. Odie. Yeah, ninety four in Hamlin. Twenty two. Vehicle going northbound, Earl from Geranium. Just shortly. Uh, a couple minutes ago. Which one are you on? Three. Yes, northbound Earl from Geranium. Turn that up. Just Geranium. Last minute. Yep. Okay then. All right. Joe Odie, did you copy that? Northbound Earl from Geranium. Could be. Or I don't know if maybe... Check the notes there to see if... Well, what kind of Kia is it? Kia Soul. It is a Soul. Yep. And just to see if there's any tracking issues, because that's really weird. She's it's 44, 71. It twice. So, yep, 326 on phone with Tom. We saw vehicle northbound Earl from Geranium in the last few minutes. Well, it must be a back seater. Yep. Thank you. I don't know if that information is accurate, but that's the thing. You never know if you're getting scammed anymore. No, oh, for sure. By the bad guys. Yeah. But there's no place to go, really, up, except up in here into the South Phelan area or back east. You're not going to spend too much time on Maryland Avenue, right? No. CD 44 traffic. Uh, I'm feeling that good about it. Yeah. 88 44. 
get distracted from my mission, you know where I was headed. Silver Lake Road and Canada Road, East yes. Echo with King, Lincoln George, 190. Silver Lake Road and County Road, E at 121. And I don't know why they have not duped both these calls into one. Well, we had three calls. We had the stolen. Yep. We had the southbound Earl, yeah, and then the northbound Earl. Yeah. 1098 University at Unbanked on a suspicious. The caller stated a male approached him and attempted to rob him. Then the caller disconnected. 843 traffic. Been able to get any more info from him. It originally said he was nearly unbanked near the train track. 843. I think they're going to change the name of the town. Another 10 years, they're going to call it St. Scooter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're Northern everywhere, right? Based on the they are. Being a little closer to the north side of uni. But I'm surprised more people are not injured on driving all this around at night. I mean, it is a practical way to get around. I gotta give him credit. I mean, yep. It sure beats walking. True. I'll tell you what. Is can you mute that for one minute? Yep. One seven.
So you didn't hear exactly what I said there, backseaters, but saying that we're, we don't like the criminals to know where we're at, but there's so many of you and so many other St. Paul cars that you being active helping us outweighs the negative of them knowing where we're at. Yeah, so the latest information that we might know, it sounds like the suspects in the black Kia Soul may have been dropped off in another black, dark colored Kia. So there's possible possibility of two Kias over on the east side that are possibly stolen. Driving around together, either screwing off, chasing each other. So you might see two cars together in tandem. If you do see some two reckless cars together at this time of night, call 911 say they might be the stolen yeah, key. There are a few people in the area we spoke with all of them. Not are saying they've called the police. We'll still be checking the area. We can probably cancel the West Coast. You know, in the old days, the hot yeah, desk so far, no used to transmit well. the stolen ones on the other channels right away. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear it transmitted on Central or no. West, right? No. They, they don't do that as much anymore. Which is just one. Yeah, they... You got, you got a whole trip. What's the numbers here? 1900? Yep. 119. 119. You can disregard 110 self assigned it. But this is info to other sponsors of fresh motor vehicle theft. 425 Rice Street. Caller said that the parts within the last five minutes in their vehicle. 2042. It's a gray 2007 Acura TL. Still working on plate level. 327. 327. Take the suspicious uh, Hancock. Was a female that was earlier on the AMA. I'll be on 43. Copy, 325. Can you back 327? I think it was in the alley. Still working on the yep. but there's a 2007. Gray Acura TL sedan taking the last five minutes from 425 Gray Street. <laughs> I can't. 616, you can clear this SNR with K9 and 1. Well, it doesn't look like anybody wants to come out. No. Oh. oh, it sounds like she might be out. Drive around, looking and around. Find it. Yeah. Well, that's what I wasn't clear if she was looking for the car. And there's only not, she doesn't have a phone, huh? That's just really weird. Yeah. Or a nine one one. This is where the car went after it was stolen. They must have seen it. 326 GOA with East. Northbound here. We don't know how far northbound. But this runs along the old Hillcrest Golf Course. That was Arlington there, another half mile north. We did Larpenter. So some point they went back west and south and snuck over to uh, Earl and Rose, Maryland area. Yeah. This is Hoyt here. Can you please change my call? 
folks at DKG. I'll be clear for it. All right, well, we got, we got some good information there. Again, it's great having the eyes out in the neighborhoods and communities to help us out. What would we call it if we had a bunch of cars out here helping us find hey, stolen? What would we call it? Transferring one to all mail from application of testing. Calvary. I think we call it the Mod Squad. Oh, yeah. Making a difference. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the Making a Difference Squad. Mod Squad. Link. Who are the other ones? Wasn't that Samuel Jackson? I can't remember. But he was younger? No, he was. 4431, Good to know this uh, this citizen we just talked to saw the cars several times. First, they were westbound on clear at White Bear, Lake, White Bear Avenue. Then they went kind of down in that little. <coughs> The new park area created by the flood and over to Prosperity, which all that makes perfect sense now, right? Understanding where they went. 
direction, 4859, 121st Street. Oh. You don't generally like to drive on the main streets too much. It's Unfortunately, they're right. Cop, cops are so busy, they don't really have time to hit side streets like the old days. No. Do I gotta go back and check that? Uh, maybe. It may look perfectly peaceful for a minute, right? Yeah. And as the voices seem to crescendo. Yes. I don't know, like 2 o'clock at night. I think they're walking home Lord from Jordan, the bar or what? Robert, five, eight out of Florida. I don't, I don't know let, any bars that I'm are I'm going to let you place. do yep. the counseling. But keep in mind, our viewers yeah. love to listen to conversations. It's how they learn what we're up against. Uh, okay, there we go. It's all you. Are you guys good? Yeah, where are you at? Where am I at? Where are you at? No, can, can you take us home? Where are you guys going? We, we can't give rides. Can you guys get a cab? Get lift? Okay. Do what? Where were you at? You, well, you seem like you're a little intoxicated. We are. So? Okay. No, no I'm fine. No. No, we're no. just concerned for him. Can y'all take us? Oh, um, we don't have a back seat. We don't have room back here. So y'all not our friends? No, oh. we're your friends. Where are you going? Oh, Lex and Randolph. Randolph and Lexington. We, we, we got a little full. The bus will stop running. Okay. I don't know why they shut it off because of COVID. If you get on a bus like... Can y'all take us to Randolph and Lexington? Really, really, if I'm trying to get to Minneapolis... Can y'all take us to Randolph and Lexington? No, but I'm going to give you some money. Now you got to figure out a way to... Wow. I'm going to give you a little money, okay? Wow. Okay? Yeah. So, so can y'all take us to Randolph How much is it going to cost you to get there? Well, $20. Yeah, here. All right? Now listen. There's your money to get a ride. All right? Okay. We can't give what you a What is this? Forty dollars. Forty dollars. So y'all not gonna take us home? Are no, you gonna complain? No. I just gave you money for a yeah. cab. Right. Call the cab company. Yeah. Tell me you got cash. Yeah. So 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 y'all what y'all gonna do with us later? No, you guys are gonna go home. I ain't never had this happen to us. No, I know. Yeah. I ain't never had this happen to yeah. us. We want to help you, but yeah. we we can only do so much. I ain't never had this happen to us. Yeah. Well, don't so we gonna go? Yeah. So yeah. we can leave? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go, you, man. go find the cab. All right. Okay. All right. Get home safe. All right. Yeah. Go okay. down to the, you know go down to the BP gas station down there about a about a quarter BP mile. Gas yep. The BP gas Straight. Yep. Yeah, like, right there. And like eight blocks down. It's open all. Hey. Yeah. Hey, it's short blocks. But yep. by tell them that the sheriff said they should call a cab for you. Okay. Eight blocks down. Yeah. Well, it's no, not that it's, far. No, it's really six a, blocks. Eight blocks down. Okay. Guys, I just want you guys to know that I'm really not opposed to helping people financially, okay? Okay, and, I, and some people say, well, why are you always giving money out? And I'm, I'm not that, it's not that I'm that really free with my money. Well, my wife would probably disagree. <laughs> but just so you know, I'm not, everything I give away comes off of what I would normally give to church. <laughs> right? Fair enough. You can either put yep. it in the put it in the plate yep. or put it on the street. I like Some, it. Sometimes putting it on the street is better than putting it in the plate. So I don't know. I mean, they, were, they were too intoxicated for us to give a ride to, right? Yeah. Plus they were arguing. Yep. I just I mean we're not going all the way over to Lexington and Randolph. They can get a cab for 40 bucks, don't you think? <sighs> Anyhow, where was that? You get a plate on it? Can you have a on seat? I don't know what channel they're on. Who is it? Are you people? Someone said that they're f they have eyes on Black Kia. You got three on right? You got three in Intel, yep. right? Okay. Well, Go for it, 
JK6 traffic. St. Paul squad just took a right up here. JK6. Within an island, with Golf Well, that must have been her. What the hell? Oh. I saw that car turn that way. Flying out. What the hell? I don't know what's going on here. Well, he's, I think he's... Maybe that was her, but she thought she was on my primary line. Well, we'll back up that 321 here. See, I saw her turn and oh, I'll go see she's following something. Yeah. Then she came back on. Roseville's car to car. That's what it is. That's Roseville's car to car. <coughs> He's running. It's probably. Pretty sure I got 40 miles to real clear. He ain't dash well. Happy 143. Something going on on Roseville's car to car. Yeah, I think it's really good to their harassment deal with their compass and a black Kia. Yeah. Yeah, we got a crime where we're doing 30, 80, old highway 8. No crime at this time, you just take off, take off 44, 30, and I'll start to the alarm. Come on. Spots for 0286, people will drive for an alarm covering the fire door line. Spot 177. Are we having fun or what? We are having fun. Spot 178. Squad 182. See more squads up there. No, I think we're all right. Squad 182. You don't have a crime. That was our friends. Squad 183. No crime at this time. They decided they didn't want to take the northbound bus. Squad 187. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Squad 189. 189. Are you guys able to get anyone on that car? I'm going to stop at the speedway up here and use one. Fantastic. Have you heard the vehicle is still in the lot? We pulled up. Started walking. Looked like it was going to be a good one. Started walking when I got out and said stop. Have a good night. Check out Friday night. White Castle's got a healthy line there. They do. You know, I could actually go for one of those. But Probably the spot to assist to 1824. I think I'm going to microwave a... Come on, they're going to be on the road. See a 1033 Dale Street for a female. He's a dead meat at the speedway. Yeah, I'm going to leave wrong. you in the car for a little bit. You can talk you to the back seaters. And uh, sure if you got some questions of Darren, start texting him now. We've got a 10 like, second uh, delay. He can, he can respond to your questions as he's reading them. If you're new there, if you just joined us here, Darren McDonald is. How's it going? Hey, hop on the East 94 from here, and it's going to be two score bikes. Well, one has a single rider, the other is double bikes. Yeah. For stop speed, I don't oh, yeah. know. Is that a Texas T or a Twins T? Mary Henry, I believe. Hey, wait. Traffic stop. 
Pleasant and Hill Farm Circle on the kid. Committed to North Hall, 35 from 94. Speed, 80, no traffic. I got a detail working there. 370. I mean, on North Hall, 35 East, North Hall, 35 East from 94. I don't know. The bike with the color rider appears to be a male. It's a colorful backpack on black. Yeah. 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 Y
It's just the driver. The driver wants to put himself at risk. That's a different thing. But ultimately, what happens in the court system is the passenger ends up suing both the driver and us. And it's up for a jury to decide who is, who is most responsible. And then, to tell you the honest truth, even if... The jury decides that the driver is 95% responsible and that the chasing vehicle is only five. What happens if the driver doesn't have any money? Then the agency has to pay full damages even because the driver doesn't have any money. Correct. And then we can sue the driver for the rest of his life to try to collect the thousands and thousands of dollars that we paid for medical. But if they never have any money, we never collect. So it's different if, if the driver paralyzes himself, that's on him. But if he paralyzes a passenger, then it's on everybody. In regards to that shot fire, she and Tom did not have any further details. I'm not sure where I am. Why all the squads are up here. Okay. 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 Let's take a look at his GPS. Copy, I'm showing you that about. This one here, copy, took 49 miles. On the left for the disturbance. The bike is 119. Very charming. In court south of Suzanne Avenue, and I copy the plate. Is the bike occupied? One one five nine one Mary Edwards. Uh, nobody's on the bike. They ditched it, and they're gonna be in the area here somewhere. Okay. Copy. Bike is ditched in the area again. Suzanne Avenue south on or Suzanne Court south. Metro three five six south Suzanne Avenue. If there's cause of concern to. Go ahead. Yeah, but actually. Twenty one six two area. Bike comes back stolen. Let's set up a perimeter. So, new news. Bike got dumped, discarded. 2772, add me to that. Put me in the area. Two people bailed. Sergeant Suki has found it. Okay, 356. Okay, Randy located that. Bike, 
Run the drone up there before I get out of here. Target 363 Tango, we'll take kind of half of rice. Turn the black backpack on. So if you could grab that description from the one more time, please. Do you have to familiar with this neighborhood. I lived here a big chunk of my life. Three, four, seven, one. And we are going to find them. Fantastic. Three, four, seven, one. We gotta just catch them before they get out of the house. Three, four, seven, one. Three, four, seven, one. Three, four, seven, one. find out for sure exactly where the bike is. Copy, Ramsey County is patched with METAC 1 for state assistance on that motor vehicle. I mean, the motorcycle. Occupants leave the seat. We called Andre, he's on his way to come track. Where is the bike exactly? Um, so basically, if you take Suzanne, yep. straight south, and then it peers to the west a little. Yep. And then the course comes south off the top Suzanne. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, all these houses back up to the Badness Lakes area. Which, but if it, the bike's down here, it's closer to the tracks. So, Suzanne Court. There we go. There's the trooper, there's Mark Suki. Hey, yeah. Can you guys check for your core? Was there an open garage? 2165 Tango, clear report, and we'll be heading to 7 0 school. Hey, bro. Copy. Copy. Alright, what do you think? There's the bike Look, through those woods. You got a theory, Mark, which way they went? No, it could be, it could be but they, there's nowhere to go here. Yeah. No, the, well, the, the Vadness Park is that way. Does it look like they, is there any 
footprints at all in that grass? Fish sets, white. Yeah, just take a look at that grass real quick, Mark. See if you can. I mean, it's an odd place to dump it. Yeah. That just seems like the logical place to run. All right, all right. Well, I mean, really, if you're at, on that cul-de-sac and you're there, that's where you're going, right? I mean, yeah, I would just sit there again. You work your way out to the railroad tracks, and then you go down the railroad tracks. Because the railroad's right there. Adam Sam, Edward 544. So. You're done. Then you start calling people, right? Come and get us! <laughs> oh, so. so yeah. Off to the left here is where they dumped it. Behind there is his railroad tracks, right above us. We're about to. <laughs> get yourself to the tracks and then you decide do you go east or west? I don't know. Chad was mentioning Rustic which is right, which is up the top of the hill here. Which we're gonna go. Yeah, and who knows if they know the area at all? Yeah, that's the other thing. But if you did know the area and you weren't being chased, yeah. We are looking for two people that were driving on a stolen motorcycle. side of Rice, or pardon me, west side of Rice Street. Trying to figure out if they went yeah, west. Side. For County West, normal air traffic. <coughs> Sergeant Stuckey's got his drone up. 
Northwest. We're on the tracks? Can you take County West, please? Were they maybe the female fish that stocking? What? Did, was a woman wearing any unusual clothing that you noticed? I couldn't see them that well. I just know okay. it was a couple. Not sure how far this guy could have made it, but I have an open garage at 20. When you, how far back do you think it was? We're trying to time it out. Half a mile or, um, or more, less? How far back is uh, Splash from here? I would assume he lives in the area. Uh, I don't think it'd really be worth checking along. No, definitely not. Checking by myself. Five miles. Five miles? Couldn't have made it that far. No. no. All right, thank you. No. Thanks no. a lot. Appreciate it. No. Good. Thank you. Fifty-one eighty-three. Fifty-one eighty-three. Put me on that harassment call. You see that old caboose over there? there? Twenty-nine sixty-four. Yeah. I'll be checking. A lot of kids go out and they hang out on that caboose. Well, I'm sure. Happy yeah. open garage, 21. I've been in there a couple of times. As hard as they try to. 5183, it's going to be 2964 Pat. Control it. Happy 2964 Pat. I don't think we can get over the bridge. So I think that's maybe the squad was on the other side. Hopefully. <laughs> like that squad has wisely positioned himself on the tracks Can you what the to prevent the them from crossing, right? Yep. That's a big buck. This. Yeah, and a few horns on it. <coughs> the problem is if they did make it across the bridge, they could hit the Shoreview Park. No. 2772. Oh, 2772. Drones picking up, it looks like two people on the railroad tracks west of Rice. Where do you go? That's us. Copy. Is it the employee? Copy that. We're good over here on that. Of course, there's a, another Kia in the garage. Is it right next to the train? How far west? Because there is a railroad employee out on the track. Here. It's 2163 on 2172 on that side of the train. Well, they, might have, they might have been on Central. Copy, right? Scott. That's a problem. How far west are the heat signatures? There are a couple railroad employees out here. They're standing in the middle of the tracks. Their squad is facing eastbound, it looks like. I think, I, I think they're deputies. That was the two squads we were looking at there. No. 2772, we're going to be starting to track here in a second. Copy. Well. So, see if you can find me a place to cross this tracks. The reason I say that is, there is a place up there. Once we cross, we can get over onto the Shoreview Park. Okay. <coughs> if I was them and I walked over here, I'd, I'd go into the Shoreview area. Rather than staying here. It isn't promising, is it? 
Is that a road to the right over there, Mark? From yes. there, to give canine announcements. Uh, yeah. Second track, right? First? Yeah. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, I can get over this one, but then I gotta navigate. That's not good. Yeah, well, let's go. We'll go out and go back in. One, two, one. One, two, one. You show me off, OPC. I don't know, I think the train guys would have saw them, right? I mean, yeah, they I, said five, before one guy said a couple miles, and the other guy said five. Five miles. 3926. That's, that's too far. Well, the other guy trail that goes to the north, to the north there, that's just as easily accessible. Can we start to a Maplewood Medical, Lydia Avenue and Mary Court. They're not for a 52-year-old male, conscious breathing, possible blood sugar problem, but he's refusing to get out of his vehicle. I'm going to have a blood sugar problem yeah. myself here. Is there a spot that can I We're about hand? to get some food. Well, I'll get back there, and I'll change the Well, if it's me, I want to stay as covert as possible. Right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, hide out until your ride can get up in the area. So, four eleven Wheeler Street, Unit One. This is one of my neighbors says that their dog at that address has been parking the last three hours. They when checked, the door is open. There's no like door. your car. Jesus Christ, we have enough lights on that thing. I'm actually, I think that's, I'm rooting for that. The eastbound track. Up on the tracks up here. Now that I saw what we got westbound. I think that's, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Is that Odegaard? I don't know. Yeah, it's got to be one of us. How the hell did he get through there? Oh, did he have the key? Oh, it's Sparks. 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 Well, you're not going to really enjoy this, but here we go. 
This is the way I'd go. The nature? Nature. And I'm not even positive I'm going to be able to get you out of the forest. No return. <laughs> 2772, we're just working on the requiring perimeter. Okay, just to recap, everyone, we are looking for two suspects that fled from a stolen motorcycle that originally fled from State Patrol. To jog this path daily basis. Now, having said that, my general rule is get across this fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, if they took the tracks over to this area, they would they could secrete themselves in the Badness Parks area, which, by the way, one of the most beautiful park areas that there is. This is one of my favorite locations, the bike. You know, I was the mayor of Edna Sites. Did I mention that? Yes. <laughs> the bike run along. Hopefully we could see him if they started to ditch us here. Drivers cooperative hands up the window. Alright, uh, somebody's gonna have to take over from the man and have to go off on their side of the floor. Have to put all the lights on, huh? Three guys at Metro. A lot of memories here. Three guys, six. My family used to call them. We used to call them forest walks. Go on a forest walk. Three guys, six. I'm gonna wave down at the corner of White Bear and Sherman. Beautiful paths, huh? Back seaters? Just amazing. This is on the east side of Lake Badness. Yeah, it's maintained very well. Yeah. The county really does most of the work here. And, but the water department really owns the property, St. Paul Water Utility, because Badness Lake is one of the primary lakes that feeds into the water system. In fact, there's no boats allowed on Badness Lake. And um, so they do a nice job of maintaining it. You, you can only fish in certain areas as well. But a lot of you probably never been on this path. I highly recommend it. There's a couple places you can park. Sucker Lake Park or... Not a lot of County Road F up there by Sucker Lake. Not a lot of places really to park to access this. The on the other side of the lake, on the west side, actually is the water department intake, and they do have some parking there. So around the corner here to the left, we're going to run into where uh, Kohler Road and McMenemy connect. I remember this because as I was jogging, that little hill that we just went up yeah. was miserable. <laughs> but I knew I wasn't too far away from my house. That was the worst. And you can see right here is the intersection of Kohler and McMenemy. And I don't think the gate's going to be open, so but I'll just show you where it is right here. There's oh. the there's for an alarm at Thermal King, 1951, Oak Highway 8 Northwest. Audible covers we'll driver alone. Continue our search. Nolan, who didn't have to cover By the way, if you ever want to see some eagles soaring, some great eagle watching here. Now, this is a gravel road. Eventually, they plan to make it all all asphalt. I really don't like the asphalt idea. I like the gravel myself. But you can see how well maintained that was. I mean, it's a lot less maintenance for them to take care of that aspect. Heavy and central way was that driver in all black clothing. Yes, let's dress back in the ponytail. Our water patrol, do they patrol this area on ATVs? 
please make sure people are safe. Actually, did you, was there a little river that just came out there? There's a creek, Oak Creek. Is there? That empties out. I might have passed it. There's an. I might have passed Oak Creek. If it did, it's got a lot more coverage now than it used to. But where this creek comes out into Vadness Lake, every year the trumpeter swans migrate through here. It's pretty amazing. Let's go. Well, let's see where the creek is. Because if you're a Vadness Heights resident, you know how the Oak Creek winds through your neighborhood. A tree tried to grab me. <laughs> Southbound through the woods, just north of the track. Yeah, that's like you down the father from our hospital. Have you still southbound through the creek yet? Not yet. Oh, no, I don't know. They were very intoxicated trying to figure out how to get home. You're doing an amazing job of backing up, aren't you? You are. Oh, okay. All right, here it is. Oh, there's the creek. Oak Creek. It's kind of awesome. The water's not running too fast right now. Can you, can you see on that side? Yeah. Yeah. So, used to come back here and catch frogs and crayfish. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a great time. And then the oak, the creek runs all the way through. 5208. 201. There's a metal bar that goes across that creek there. Are you getting clear, I'll take used to have con contests with my son to see yeah, who could hit it with the rocks. Happy had to be in the movie, clear out pack one and moving the patch. Two twenty three. And who would normally win? You well, of course. Yeah, well, he was <laughs> like five. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Five twenty eight. So, as you can see, like I said, trees fall all the time. The water department does a great job of keeping it clear. Keeping it clear. Seven two on this track now, working towards the west towards right. Now they're working. Happy now, working westbound towards right. Twenty one six two. There's a left driver. Looks like you might want to pick someone up over at Grand Court. Happy left over here, Gramsie Court. It's good to know. See, Gramsie's, remember I told you up in the Shoreview side? Yep. Gramsie's north of the, across the bridge and then up to the to the Shoreview side. We are oh. just uh, to the west of you on the tracks. We can see you guys. So, but once they cross, they can beat feet. Yeah, yeah. There's a little view out there on the Badness Lake. No. Oh. Super clear of the water. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, we can say definitively when we're done here that we didn't see the suspects on this path to the east. Frank Probably going to have to drive back the whole way to get out here. Oh. I don't have the keys. about to hit Edgerton. Looks like the gate is closed on Edgerton. Unless Nicole Sparks and Ashley Sparks can run around and open the gate for us. Let me just see what we got here. Sometimes the gate isn't actually closed closed. Let's see what we got. We got a backpack here at the railroad bridge over Rice Street. 
Copy. Have a backpack on the railroad bridge over right. Seven two. If one of the squads on Ray Street want to uh, go south a little bit and check these yeah. premises under the bridge, make sure they're not tucked under here. Good idea. Is there an available car that can check under the bridge? Second three, I got it. Copy. It's a plastic garbage can. It's hittable. 81 So we are over by uh, Edgerton. Edger Mustang with one of the skateboard. Basically, we've completed a search of everything east. Is there somebody walking down the bridge of Buckman, sir? Mustang Drive. I copy that. What's your cross? Nicoletti, uh, if you want to come east, if you got to get out of your car, come east over to the boulevard here. There's this crevice tucked away up on this eastern border that needs to be to look in. So our squads are actively out there in that area of rice on the bridge trying to find the uh, suspects. We were checking the east side, now we're going to go back, come out, <coughs> go back up to the uh, shore view end. It's a little, a little on the northwest side of the bridge there. Ramsey Road. If you're going to try to call an Uber, that would probably be the right spot to try to get them. If you're ever here in these woods, my favorite spot is out on the point here where the Eagles live. You're going to see a little path off to the left here in a minute. And, uh, I'll see you when they get they might have discouraged people from using those paths, but there's paths out to the left here that go to the point. They do have some clear spots. And, uh, some unbelievable nature out there. Fox, I've seen foxes. Yeah, they definitely have let the overgrowth come on the two paths. There's just one path in and one path out. You can find it if you're smart. Best one, Gramsci Court, can you stop? Up there. That is an amazing Can you path. get out well, and so. walk to your right along the tree line? Mark, Sergeant Mark Sippy yeah. coordinating the drone search over there. Signatures. Stop. Is there anything here right, right there? Yeah, there's a small box here. There's a what? Small box. Yeah, you described them. Thank you. Small box. Little things heat up during the, during the day sometimes. Okay. Certain objects don't cool off as fast. So, one of the hidden gems of nature is this uh, water department property around Lake Badness. You can just see the thick foliage. Deer is in here. They actually have a deer hunt. <coughs> they do deer hunts here with bow and arrow. Cool. To try to thin the deer out. And, uh... Simple first squad's run to the burglary. Caller says there's also his wife and a five-year-old that are in the home. Okay. What happened? 
happens there's a creek if you're ever driving down highway 96 you see the creek well let me just explain it in a little more detail there's a chain of lakes that help filter water into this lake before it goes to the St. Paul Water Department water for everybody and it starts with Charlie Lake up in the northwest part of, of uh, North Oaks and then it goes into Pleasant Lake and it comes through a little creek into Gilfillan and then down into Sucker Lake and Sucker then is if you got on Highway 96 and you see all the kids fishing on Highway 96 that's sort of the it's the beginning of Sucker Lake there between Sucker Lake is between County Road F and 96 and if you remember 96 is actually like County Road G. So then the water comes through there, and as it as it moves through those lakes, the impurities kind of drop, and then it gets to badness, and it's very, very pure. It's like a self-filtering concept. But in order in order to protect that. In order to protect the lake quality, they have prevented any development. Oh, right we're controlled, slow everybody down. Right on the lake. Copy to Brighton's controls, squad control, and can you swim in it? You cannot. Interesting. You cannot. Hey, Andre, can you see the drone? I got something in the middle of the field. I don't know if it's a swamp or, or what it is. How was your tour? Fantastic. Yeah, you can see it. We're quite a ways away from it, though. It's like the uh, me on the bridge here. So, we checked the railroad yard. We checked the. I think I got him. Direct, well, not directly under me, but close to the drone here. Well, let's go. Yep. Let's 44. Squadron code 4. You're going to let me pass that, Cooper? Party is heavily intoxicated. Is there a better road over there, Sydney? Sadly, no. Not that I can see. Can you give us a little description if we can't see the drone? It's to the west. Uh, it's to the west of the rice is north is north of the tracks, south of the Graham's Gate Apartments. All right, we, we can get at it probably from the path off of Gramsci. The other side of the train tracks that we were at earlier. Kids bring a lot of dirt bikes over here. I mean, they could be anywhere in here, but you think the drone would pick up a signature? Well, there's a drone right ahead of us. Did they ever stop that lift? 
I don't know. That's a good question. That's the tunnel, I think, there. 4631 just turned outside. We're still clearing the first floor of the building. Go anywhere that they can obstruct, the, obstruct the view of the drone. Oh, for sure. So, this is a tunnel that goes over to... I think I'm good here, right? As far as height? Yeah. Cars drive through oh, roads. Yep. Anyhow, there's a path around this lake, too. So my sister in law takes our dog around here on a regular basis. Snail Lake Regional Park. Shoreview. City of Shoreview. Just gonna go up here. Just as long as the squad's on the other side until Mark finds another heat signature. So now we're at Snail Lake Regional Park, just on the north side of Gramsci. Quite the, and actually this is referred to as Vadna slash Snail Lakes Park. I don't think I'm gonna, I mean, I've, I've done this a few times, but until he finds a heat signature. Yeah. This far, I don't know if we're gonna find them. Do you notice my car makes noise when I turn the wheel? Yeah, it's like it's singing. It's haunted. <laughs> haunted? What are you talking about? <laughs> It does sound like people are singing. Ooh, it does. Yeah. The ghosts. It's the ghosts. It's the ghost singers. So there is a circle. I've actually biked this several times. One day when there was a torrential rain, or there was like two feet of water on that path. But you can access that path from the uh, Shoreview Community Center. It's a ways away, but... 2194. 2194. I think he probably found that big buck he saw. Yeah, hey, you got down there? Yeah, could've. Yeah, I'm hoping I got shot down here with me. Poor, poor buck. No. Nope. Copy. Um, I'm gonna come down and just talk to you real quick. Okay. What do we got for graffiti down here? Not too much. Oh. Still checking with K9 at 240. Wonder if the K9 is on an active track? Does it sound like it? Well, they found some stuff, right? They found a backpack, and I don't know if it was the backpack. 2772. I'm still going to go this way. 2772. I think this is where they'd be hiding if it was. We see a fire can come out with a ladder, a ladder truck and just come to this bridge so we can get into this crevice underneath it. Dog must be hitting on that crevice, huh? Mm -hmm. Happy, and that's going to be the bridge over Ray Street, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Happy. Well, there's not a ton going on in St. Paul. Nope. It's not like we're missing much. And for the bikers and walkers of America, this is you know, a good tour. Very much so. That's Snail Lake out there to your right, but. Uh, don't look too good. No. I love the P 
peacefulness of this. I do think this would be, if you can hide under these trees, I do think this would be, so there's the squads that are up on the bridge, but if you cross the bridge before they got there, just, remember when we were on the other side of the railroad track, folks, and saw the trains over there. Now we're, just, now we're west of the, where that caboose and that train was. I sleep. Do you remember that? Yeah. Who wrote that poem? Miles and miles before I sleep. Just Google that. I will. Miles and miles before I sleep. Because that's what it feels like when you're... Actually, the paths off to the left go to the train track. But I'm not going to leave the roadway. Instead, I'm just... 43, 39, and 92. How much life do you have left on the... This control? will lead to the walk bridge that goes over 694. Yeah, I'm getting closer to the battery change here. John, you want to bring it in and do that before we make a level change. We're going to be moving to the basement once you're ready. Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Okay. My, what was the name of the poem? A Supping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening. Okay, just read that poem. Is the poem there? No. Oh. Miles and miles before us. Okay. Well, do you remember what we were doing before we ran in on this call? Where we were? See, if we go up here, we're going to we're gonna get to the walk bridge across 694. I don't actually recommend people use their car to cross that bridge. No. But um, there's a little turnaround, turnaround spot here right before we run into the by the way, that's just the car stopping us because we're about to hit Red Sumac. Yes. Which you do not really want to touch. By the way, there's a lot of poison sumac out here, as I can vouch for <laughs> myself. <laughs> 2772. But. Good. Okay, Bexy. Do you need a ladder truck or an engine with a ladder? That's a good question. Just a ladder, I think, right? I want to say a ladder truck would probably be best just with the terrain out here. Copy that. Okay. So, Robert Frost. Yep. Do you remember where we were before we started this? Obviously, where are we on Rice Street? Oh, yeah, you were making us stop. Yeah. Yeah. So the, it's miles and miles before I pee. Yes, <laughs> totally. <laughs> yes. There we go. So we got to make a stop quickly. Dispatcher, you can get all the train coupling again already. Make sure there's no trains coming through with all the other in the train. Oh, well, that's another problem. That's from there. There you go. Check the box. Make sure no trains are coming through. No. Yep. 2770. Is there a squad on race that can go south on race under the drone? Prefer? Sergeant. 
drone has the ability infrared to kind of look for heat signatures. Shop there. I don't know, if you're getting beat by all the bugs out here, you'd probably give up, would you? I would definitely, yes. Just to recap everyone again, we are assisting uh, State Patrol and locating two suspects that fled from them on a stolen motorcycle out of Minneapolis. Uh, Sergeant Suki located the bike unoccupied up in Venice Heights, and we are now searching the area for the two suspects. One of the suspects uh, is a white male and the second suspect is going to be a white female wearing fishnet stockings and a white t-shirt. We are in the city of Shoreview right now. Rice Street's the border between Vadna Heights and Shoreview. And we are on Gramsy Road here. Disregard, that's Alpha Deer. Deer? Suki's doing a great job of <laughs> finding heat signatures. that isn't quite as big of a drop oh. as some of these. Yep. <coughs> it's good curbs here in Shoreview. There we go. There's the apartments they're referring to. It's certainly could have made it into there. Corner market here. Really nice employees that work here. They've been robbed once or twice. But great people. Stating that there are three subjects in dark clothing, and one of them appears to be attempting to get into the side door on the south side of the building. Let's see if any of these doors seem breached, but look pretty good. Comes the ladder. Did you hear people, or is that just the radio? I I heard people, but it could be. Is it a radio by the coming off the pump? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Right? Yeah. 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 What's the TV? <laughs> TV on the pump. TV. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's been an hour since we first located the dump bike. So, we might go back to work. Right? They got plenty of cars here. 10 to 3 in the morning. On our 24 hour live. <laughs> Suki finds another heat signature. I used to tour that sometime in the daylight. Of course, you really can't do it then because people are out on the paths and they don't like it too much when cars are driving. Them. Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah, St. Paul has a few pending calls. There was a possible robbery at the area of Rice of Maryland. Caller is now home. Okay. Said that she was assaulted by several people. In the parking lot of tin cups or what? Yeah. Well, okay. Possible intoxicated Uber driver at Children's Hospital. Uh, there is a male not wearing pants downtown St. Paul by the Ordway. The pantless man? Yes. Well, backseaters want us to run in on that one. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> And then a uh, male thought he was going to be robbed, so he jumped out of the car at Maryland and Hazelwood. Okay. That one's and getting dispatched. We'll turn that up just a hair. So. He was going to be robbed. He jumped out of the vehicle. He's wearing a black shirt and is currently on the corner. Medics will be en route. Well, that's not good. That was fun. Yep. By the way, backseaters, a lot of you wonder uh, if our auto thieves do any time because they're juveniles. And there are times they get out way too early, and we are keeping track of that. We're going to do a conference with uh, the judges someday to show what these kids are up to. But having said that, I will tell you that. One of our most active auto thieves just got sentenced to nine months to a year at Red Wing, which is a guy who worked on for a long time and was very active, drove like a maniac. So sometimes the system does work. And uh, nine months to a year at Red Wing can change a kid's life. Or in Moorhead up there. We've seen the Moorhead facility change their lives too. But one thing's for sure, there's a lot less stolen cars while they're in there. Yes. So. I'd really like to do a conference for the judges to show them what these kids are all about. Judges can start thinking about what's the best way back. I want to make sure you have copied. We have a 911 hang up and pending for 175 Charles, and the TC heard children and adults screaming, possibly a physical encounter. 
Copy, if we can have the West help out or something so we can get a squad available. Yeah. I'm permitted. Thank you. South, but I'm 35E from 96. We're gonna make a stop either at the quick trip or the speedway. Might hit the quick trip. Get a little better food selection there. You haven't yawned at all. You still good for a while? I am good. I am definitely a night owl. It's a pleasure. Yeah, I know you are. I like that. Me too. Fortunately, I have to work days too. No. Backseaters, we really appreciate you hanging with us. Fun having you with us. So squads were called back to 84 Wabasha. Again? On a stabbing. Oh, Jesus. Mal was stabbed in the back and believed to have a punctured lung. On a call pending at 613 Just Mine Avenue East. Caller states there's a male who used to live at the address trying to break in with a knife. Suspect name is Antonio, an Hispanic male, 34, 5, 2, 5, 6, after still wearing dark So, we got stabbed, punctured lung. Yeah. Well, kind of regret we never made it down there. I mean, they there said the party was okay. over. But obviously they didn't all leave, right? No, and this might not be related to the earlier party. Well, oh, because there, there are some residents there. Right? They, yeah. They have a big party room or something. Or, I don't know. And it looks like the age of the victim does not really coincide with the okay. earlier party. But okay. s stabbing at that address... And suspect is in custody. Alright, well, that's good. 300, as of right now, they're saying it's a big knife. Big knife. Backpack's gonna be related. It's full of railroad times. Uh, you could probably break down the perimeter unless the drone has anything else. Negative. Happy perimeter spots, Cassie. Well, they got the motorcycle back. Large knife call in case he flees and they need our help finding him in the neighborhood. Man with a large knife. 
Open 100 to copy for an assault. 1563 Charles. And the caller's caller was shot in the leg. Oh, jeez. All right, we're going to leave the radios on for you folks. We will be back what shortly. Shortly? What did we do with that last one? Well, I'm going to Next year. We're at the Quick Trip on Highway 61, just north of 694. We're going to use the restroom. 114. Can we find the time delay? It's just the uh, suspect's going to Got to make sure. I... Copy. Oh. And 100, let's keep that caller on the line until we get out there. Copy. Could you break us from our central call, please, and put us on the assault and left? Copy. And then for our squads on the assault, the caller's mom's boyfriend is the shooter. Still working on the description, and if he's on scene. going to be John Ruff, black male, 34 years old. We see the square on scene. See if uh, we can get somebody to come down. Copy see if uh, Mr. Rush is still on scene or not. 304. Copy. 110. 110. We were there earlier for a noise complaint. If you buzz okay. number four, they should be able to write in fetch. Copy and thumbs up buzz number four to be let inside. One fourteen, can you give me a suspect description again? All I've got right now is a uh, John Ruff, black male, thirty four years old. Our comp is sixteen years old and didn't see the shooting, so unknown holding description at this time. Proceed, thank you. You're welcome at three oh five. One hundred. Is he able to advise if the suspect's still inside? Having the TC work on that now. Fourteen. Actually, negative suspect is left. Fifteen. Happy suspect no longer on scene. Fifteen to one thirteen. The front door locked. Can we reopen it? That's right there. Got you. One hundred. Do we know if he left in a vehicle or on foot? On foot. Copy suspect left the address on foot. One hundred, let's get a perimeter going. Two two six. 
Pain 114 and five that what direction it left off. One fourteen. She's not sure which direction the guy went. About six foot. He's wearing a red shirt and red shoes. Looks like there's an additional caller calling back stating that. I mean, a black male with dark skin. Boyfriend had come over earlier and was making threats. He was going to physically. Do you guys need any more help in the building, or should we all stay out and try to look for the guy? The. You go ahead and look around. Currently on the way back to the address, and he's driving a Chevy that TC's working on getting more. They were going to be up front. Copy. I'm so with black male with dark skin, six foot, wearing red shirt, red shoes, left in the unknown direction. I copy code for paramedics. Three two five to three one eight. I'm in the alley behind the. What seems to be a black guy still has a gun on him. Eighty one ninety six. Can people start setting up a perimeter? Let's check the black mark. Just to fire at. Ten oh six one zero D David Tellers from Unit 228 can hear fire alarm sounding. They're going to be in route. There's no sign of smoke or fire. Suspect name is Jeff. One eighteen to one fourteen. Can we work on the date of birth for the male? See if we can look him up in DVS. That is the mother's ex-boyfriend and is banging on the glass door in the back of the house. Four seven nineteen ninety one. Yeah. Copy. Six one six. Plenty of cops at the scene. Let's start working on a perimeter dispatch. Get checked the district for donor drone operator. One fifteen on route. Is it approved? Drones approved. And one hundred. You can show me on scene controls. Copy. Metro. One fourteen. One fourteen. Team. I have a medic. Eighteen-year-old female. One fifty-two. Happy. I just cleared your call. Are you with the medic by any chance? Answering the radio. We're having fun now. We're heading to your rooftop, but we're we're much more with the mouth. In the restroom there, back the theaters, they were playing the Werewolves of London. It was uh, kind of. It, I was telling the Darren, it's, it was a good song and it's time, but you can write a whole song with only five words, plus the "ow." <laughs> Tell us. Oh, brother. Yeah, as back seniors, I hope you explain to people when they say, when they tune in, they say, who are these guys? I hope you explain to them. Did, I, did you wave? I don't think you recognize this. Nope. I think how darker windows are. Hmm. They have no idea who we are. That's the Wiper Lake Police Department. We're gonna check a house on Rustic. Eighty-one ninety-six. How's it going? Sounds like it was a struggle over a gun. How are you? Yeah, no. see ya. So this is a really strange request. Yeah, and we're you're live, so be careful what it is. Oh, well, I'm saying my fiance's uh, mom's a really. Big a little bit of background noise. I can't well, so over you, a give, you should give her a shout. She can I hear think you right now. She's on vacation right now, so she oh, might not be watching. But, uh, I was gonna say if I could grab a photo with you, and I'll see. Oh, you. for oh, sure. That's all right with you. Yeah. Probably just you. Well. Pat's I'm not sure here. If you want to be in it too, we could do that. Yeah, good Darren. He's a, uh, he's a new kid on the block. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe Darren take maybe Darren can take a picture. Which door are you at? Door five, the one by the one by the one by the one by the I think I'm only seeing two cars on this perimeter right now. Can we check with other districts? Maybe they'll sell. Copy. 
copy? 2162. 1 to 1, I'll be at Pasco and Unity. Copy Pasco and Unity. 110. 110. Asbury LaFond, and just FYI, there's a male with a red shirt at Hamlin Park, but the physical description is not matched. All right. That picture is for his mother-in-law. Or his fiance's mom, right? Yes. That watches. Stacy, thank you for watching. You said you might be not might not be watching right now, but your future son-in-law is doing a great job here. Join the White Bear Lake Police Department. Blair. 5184. Okay, we'll get that here. So, what did I eat the half sandwich? Yeah, half. That's a really good sandwich. That cranberry good? chicken. Asbury. Holy mackerel. They have a medical at Heritage Place Senior Apartment. So, 3700. we mentioned all the car dealerships that are getting hit out in West Suburbs. I had our intelligence unit come out here today on highway 61 and talk to all the car dealers about just the cars getting stolen in the west suburbs mm. expect that they'll try to hit here as well oh for sure I have chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Since we talked about it earlier. I don't know if I brought my radio back. So let's just check. I might have left it there. And not the one there. Is there one here? Yeah. Right here? Yep. Did you have yours? I do. And we're good. Yep. You have two, right? I do. Yeah. That's you, man. Oh. We don't have to connect it, but just take it. Nope, we're good. Yep.
all of our auto thieves watch live on patrol and they'll try to avoid us. But that keeps them out of Ramsey County and that's that's okay. We claim victory then. Well. Sounding Keller Lake Club. Okay. But Scooter's uh, Coffee, you know, I've seen those pop up. Yep. I thought they were just a local try to compete, but it's actually, they have a large footprint apparently. I saw one in Iowa when I was down there. Yeah, so that was a good burglary at the golf course. Oh, it was. Yep. Well, we got to really well. I got to go up there then. What happened? Yeah. Uh, good glass break. Northwest second level door. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a skill to this. Yep. That you don't bottom out. I'm not saying I got the skill, but I'm just saying there. I, know I heard there is one. Are guys there or Maplewood? Uh, Maplewood. Huh. Well, that's nice of them. Is it still a county golf course, right? And Washco's in a run with their canine. To here? Yeah. Uh, to search the inside? Or to track? Think track outside. Oh. Yeah, it says building is clear, squads can break down the the perimeter. Oh, that's what they were out on a long time ago. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize. Well, County Parks and Rec staff, in case you're watching. I heard them out with, I knew they had their own drone up, I thought maybe it was kind of weird that we were... <coughs> Had two drones up at the Vanda site thing, but it was probably here then. Yep. Keller Clubhouse. I want to thank you guys for handling these county facilities. Very nice of you. Not to. So you've searched the inside, no negative results. So you can do a track now, or what? Nothing. 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 They obviously broke in, but. They nothing. take. They take anything? No. ATMs moved, but nothing's taken. Not well, do you right. think they drove up, or did they walk in? I think they walked in. From the streets down here on day or something, or. or Possibly, you? or they might have done like something off the of 61. Oh, yeah, okay. There was no cars here. I was here in minute and a half. Were they? So, you yeah. think the ATM was a target? No, I think pull tabs. We found out there was no pull tabs. <laughs> that never really works. That pull tab thing. You got to cash them in before they're reported. Yeah. You know. Or, or somebody's got to leave cash there, which nobody does anymore. Yeah. I mean, there's computers out. All the cash drawers are open. Nothing's broken or yeah. anything like that. It's been a while though since this place was hit. Yeah. But they very obviously made it inside a ways. There's glass track through the uh, area. There's, there, there is a burglar. I'm even going to mention his name on live here. There's a burglar that recently got out that's very...
there. There's just not many left. So many real burglars left. Oh. Did you turn on his birthday again? 1991-0407. Six basements clear. We're going to be sitting in the truck. All right. So we're up here at the Keller uh, Clubhouse for the Keller Golf Course. They got a great venue here. Um, for those of you that know this area, by the way, the St. Paul Open used to be here and all the greatest came. But you see this hill here, this hill here, to our right here. And left. This is some of the greatest sliding hills in the metro area down here. Come down that hill and now right off to our left over here. This one in the winter time. That is a sliding hill. Well, let's go. Cool. So they had good burglary, move the ATM. <coughs> One thirteen, you guys advise if you got an updated uh, description mail. Yeah, nice to sneak out here and watch Jack Nicholas golf with the St. Paul Open. And Arnold Palmer. Well. Wow. Here, don't remember what he was this is the old driving range. Does it look like they still have a driving range there? Copy 114 craft. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. This is the old driving range. You know, true story. When, when I was little, they didn't have carts to pick up the balls. Let kids do it. Yeah, take a five minute break to pick up balls so you don't get killed. <laughs> There's the old killer golf course driving. Right the, the house I grew up at was right behind that. Those woods there. I suppose we better get out of here before they lock us in. Oh, that wouldn't be good. Based on uh, Mr. Ruff's booking photo, he should have a tattoo on the left side of his neck. It's going to be his name that starts with the letter A as in Alpha. It's in cursive writing. See that sliding hill over there? It looks like fun, huh? Oh, it totally does. Photo showing a pencil on the left side of his neck. We have names starting with the date Alpha and Cursive oh, writing. Good. 14 Metro. One of, them, one of them hasn't left yet. <laughs> 15 with a 5-6. Can you start me in custody, so please? Right. I've got to give Greg Mack. Greg Mack was the head of Ramsey County Parks and Rec for a long time. and did a really nice job developing the property around here. And, uh, Our victim stated again, just the red shirt, red shoes, and she did confirm that he has multiple tattoos, including the names on his neck. Is that the 175 Charles call we're talking or a new one? And 114, the victim believes he has black pants on. No, 15. Oh, 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 what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we, do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? This could be our burglar. Could be a homeless guy, too. Huh? Your bike did? Why? Where did it come from? It come from 
my cousin. I just came back from over there. I got it. Is there anything on there that would identify that as yours? Why is it body? The top is going to. 
down and meet you. You can check. Well, it doesn't look like the most valuable computer in the world. It's just a hunt for a guy to be one night in walking down the street with a computer. For the children's hospital, that's the word I've been doing. Our accident has been updated. Look at this right here. Copy. Did my partner here explain why we're talking to you? Yeah, the walking in the Yeah, is the burglary day having an update? Yeah. The CN is 150. Well, you just said you got so many darn tools that you use to burglarize stuff at some point. Well, hey, we're not saying you're guilty. We're just saying there's a lot of suspicious stuff here. Your incident has been updated. Odds are that might not be from the burglary. Twenty twenty five checking your status. Yeah. Can you shoot a quick picture of him? Yeah. Probably yep. County twenty twenty five checking your status. Sixty one and one car three thirty five. Can you see if I'm one of those in Ibis?
15 metro. 
Can you just do follows? Stop, pop up, stop on the LR. Six 
Police Metro. Please exit. Are you able to see any supplemental info that I just ran you back? We are working on identifying this young person because we can't find any 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 record of his name, even though he gives us his name. So, bought the laptop. He says for forty dollars. Clearly, it's worth more than forty, but. We don't have a record of that laptop being stolen. Well, that's not good. Metro 60 or 70 cars, check for a 1050, southbound 52, just south of Butler. We received an automated message for a severe crash. 
Well, just another little strange encounters, close encounter of a, I forget what the movie was. Yes. So, young man had a computer yeah, with him. I got all the radios. One, two, three, four, three. I got mine. Okay, then I'm good too. I think that's your seatbelt. I don't know yep. for sure though. Nope, it is. Just check out my extender. See, this is what I use. Then I don't ever move it by accident. Oh, nice. <coughs> so I know you, there's some way you can sh shut that off. Is she on Intel or what channel we on? No, yeah, I think that's on Intel. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is four o'clock. Is anybody still with us? Is anybody? Is anybody still watching us try to solve crime? Okay, here we go. Nope, oh, the numbers are fading. The emergency advisors are still in vehicle, last seen in the area of York and Mendota. Uh, Minnesota Kilo uniformly went two zero two, occupied by several juveniles. It's a white SUV stolen out of Minnesota. Uh, last thing going, eastbound York from Mendota. Just info. Well, there we go. Roger. Well, let's sign off for tonight. Okay. Sign off. Hey, backseaters, 4 o'clock in the morning. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we appreciate your friendship. Metro 70 cars. We will uh, see you real soon. Say goodbye. Darren, you get the sign off. Yep. Take care. It's been, been a good night riding with you guys. One of their rear lights is out and they cannot And I will see you all again soon. Take care of sweet dreams.